Hello, 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 everybody. We are live. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mailman channel. You can call me Mail, and I hope you're having a good day, evening, morning, or night, wherever and whenever in the world you are. Hello, Alex. Hope you're doing well. I need to make sure that uh, sound alerts are working. There we go. I forgot to do that. Very nice, very nice. Uh, Howdy. Okay, that was very delayed, but that it did work, so it's fine. Um, we're playing Hoi 4 tonight. I know a random random gut punch out of nowhere i don't think anyone was expecting this oh my god it's a mailman and oh my god it, it's kenny hello i hope i pronounced that last name right ha lol like lol as in lol oh um, yeah we're playing we we're playing the kaiser redux mod uh which we've never done on this channel i think we've only played Hoi 4 on this channel twice as well uh and i just was like you know what i want to play guys redux it's a fun mod it has fun dumb lore um, I know Alex and Loma Romanian. This is like the most remotely Romanian related content that Kaiser Redux adds. Kaiser Reich, which is the predecessor to this mod, um, has a really good Romania tree, but it's kind of wacky. It's kind of wonky. It's kind of broken in the Kaiser Redux, um, like expansion. So I don't know. Um, L lol as in the laugh out loud and ha as in ha ha. I see, I see. Javail! is here! I am a DD, hello, hello. Ha ha lol. <laughs> well, that's a very cool name. Um, but yeah, uh, in good Kaiser, Kaiser Redux fa uh, fashion, we need to make sure that this goes well in terms of setting it up. But I'm pretty sure I have everything already well set up to not fail for me. I, I love my nation. Yes, we are broken. T0, never nerf us. No, it's not broken, it's in busted. It's just like, um... There was this mechanic that one of the recent DLCs added uh, in the vanilla game, uh, Hoi 4, where it was called Balance of Power, where you had to, like, do certain stuff to swing things to the left or right, and they added it into Kaiser Redux, and it doesn't really work that well. <laughs> Goo. Um, but yeah, so to play as Banat, we must start off as Hungary, and we must uh, get into a war with Romania, and then the small little tiny nation of Banat will be formed. And then, then we will be, uh, well, we'll have fun, we'll have fun times. Um, and I need to make sure I set the game rules to have Banat be, in, uh, be formed. Get in a war with what? Get in a war with, okay, listen, listen, Alex. We are not, f listen, listen. This is how we have to play. This is how we have to play to get the Romania stuff. We have to we have to end up in a war with you, but then the war will, will cease to be, and then we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, MK Fatality, your ass. Don't worry, don't worry. It's fine. I have everything sorted. I have everything underway. Okay, so yes. Uh, so for anyone who doesn't know Kaiser Redux uh, lore, in World War One, the German Empire lost to Great Britain, France, Italy, and other major nations uh, due to the... Uh, assassination of um hans ferdinand what the fuck his name was the austrian the brother to the austrian prince uh in austria by a, a, a serbian militant who was angry and the whole world went to war and russia was there as well a anyway the german empire lost and they got fucked over and that inevitably uh in inevitably ended up going to world war ii as well so in the world in the kaiser redux law uh german empire won world war one along with the Russian Empire and uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire. So the Austro-Hungarian Empire, which was uh, dissolved after World War II, uh, was not dissolved in this timeline. Instead, it is this big powerhouse of an empire that takes over most of Europe, uh, but it has a lot of constituents, including uh, the Kingdom of Hungary, uh, as is its name, the Austro-Hungarian Empire. You would think that Austria would be... You, you would think Hungary would be a half of that empire. And it is! Uh, now, mind you, in the base game of, uh, uh, sorry, in, in Kaiser Redux, uh, the hungry tree kind of sucks. It kind of doesn't have anything. Um, but we need to play as it in order to unlock Benat, which is a smaller nation within Hungary. And then from there, we'll, yes, I'll explain more, I suppose. Uh, also, in this timeline, um, communism doesn't exist. Socialism and Marxism existed, but, but communism doesn't exist. It's called syndicalism. And I think it's kind of different, but also not really. Whatever. Um, hail. Okay, goddamn, Kenny, you gotta be careful with that. Vlad, get the spear. Someone needs a reminder. Oh no. Um, so Transylvania is also a nation that you can like f 
have unlocked, but it has no content. It has no focus tree, unfortunately. They should definitely do a Transylvania focus tree. It'd be really good. Wow, wow, we're not doing that here. What a horrible timeline. <laughs> Cheeseburger. Hello, James. Cheeseburger, indeed. No communism? What a great timeline. Well, it's kind of like communism. Mel, I do not care about being cancelled. Yeah, well, guess what, Kenny? I care about being cancelled because I'm a streamer who's trying to be nice and good for the Twitch monies. And if I have chatters that want to say fucked up shit, then that makes me look like I say fucked up shit. So I, I gotta be careful, you know? Cause Redux version, uh, Kingy Kiwi and the Mighty Mediterranean. So th 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 this version doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't, yeah. But, um, do not run KX with base Kaiser. Right? Yep, obviously. KX team proudly presents Kaiser Redux. Yeah, our team has been working hard from every corner of the world to bring this monumental and amazing mod to you. And we couldn't be more honored that you're choosing to play it, even if you are a sub mod, fan fork, fun hater. Damn, bro. Please note the following, the mod is designed with both fun and realism in mind. This is why- Oh my money. god, holy crap. Here we go. Speaking about money, money. <laughs> here, here comes the money. Money, 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 down, 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 down. Sing the national anthem. My national anthem. My national anthem. Alex, I will put on the Romanian national anthem when we reclaim your country, when we reclaim our country. For the purposes of this stream, I'm Romanian. I know nothing of your country except um, your capital is Bucharest, which is cheating because I can literally, I can literally see it right there. Um, <laughs> and that, and that you have a, like the most annoying. Oh, where is it? Okay, this, this, this state, this region of Romania is hella annoying to me. It's called Moldavia. Okay, it's called Moldavia, and. There is also an, a, a state nation in Bohemia, now f uh, currently the Czech Republic, called Moravia. So there's Moravia, and there's Moldavia, and then I believe there's also, I don't think it's here somewhere, but isn't Moldavia also its own like country nowadays as well? There's also Montania. Why is everything called the same fucking thing in Europe? Europe has like 50 different things that are all called the same thing. Okay, anyway, moving on. I did the new left China stuff. Hell yeah. So, Mail, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, Kenny, and hope you're doing well too. You pronounced it wrong. How do I pronounce uh, Moldavia? Mold Moldavia? Is it Moldavia? Is, is that not how you pronounce it? Is, is that not it? Yeah, Moldavia is its own country now, right? Which is insane. Like, it's so confusing to me. Um, pronounce. Pronounce? Yeah, Moldova. Here we go. Moldova. Moldavia. Moravia. Okay, anyway. Moving moving on from this tangent about, uh, about Europe having very similar naming uh, states and or countries next to each other. Um... Yeah, so okay, Redux is awesome because it's uh it can be goofy, but it has way more content than Kaiserak. So um yeah. Anyway um we hope you okay. Uh, what's the thing? Do not run. No, no, I get that. Let me play the game. So I think yeah, here, here we go. This is it. How do I access in-game paths? Um yeah, I know how to do that. That's all good. Okay, so I think we need to remember that we always have to um uh like annex countries. We because then then we can turn them into puppets. Like in the peace in the peace conference, you need to make sure that you you know. Um, just take the whole territory, and then you and then you can mess around with like uh, turning into a puppet or whatever. So we are hungry right now, and guess what? Hungry is fucked up and evil. We don't care about hungry, okay? Um, yeah. Oh yeah, Kenny. Good point. Arkansas and Kansas. Well, I've I've definitely mentioned uh, that that one on on stream as well before. Um, it should be Kansas and Arkansas, or Arkansas and Kansas. It shouldn't be one or the other. Uh, yeah. It should, it should be one or the other, exactly. Okay, uh, so we're hungry, and because I know that hungry is fucked up, and we will have to go fight them later, I'm going to fuck up hungry as much as I can. So we're just going to delete their entire goddamn uh, army. Um, we're not going to build anything. We're not going to make anything. Um, can I delete my stockpile? Is there a way to delete my stockpile? Uh, yeah, I can just delete my stockpile. So, you know, let's just delete everything. We're not playing as Hungary. We're playing as Banat, and we will reclaim our great nation of Romania. So just delete, delete everything that they possibly own, because I don't want it. I did Banat or Ben Banat Banat Banat. Yeah, it's all gone. Fuck you, Hungary. We're fucking you over, bro. You get none of this, none of it. 
I don't think we have even enough time in a one month to, like, build anything in, um, this location. It's, uh, Temmers. Temmers is the location we unlock. I think it's Temmers and Crasso are the two locations we unlock. Um, we can build a railway? We can build a railway. That's what we can maybe we'll be able to build. B build a railway, please. How do I build rail? Build railway. I know how to build railway. I've I played this game so much. I know how to build railway. Does it have to be, be between two supply hubs? Like what the heck? Hmm. This does not look good. <laughs> Uh, close enough. A few things about us. One, as long as you drink with us, the color of skin or religion don't matter. Based. Uh, we eat lots of bakery, pork, and meat covered in cabbage. Ba ba based. Uh, don't be like that black woman if you see lots of Romanian masks with flags and flares. It's just a football game. Based. <laughs> no worries. No worries. You can definitely tell me more when we actually get to being relevant to Romania right now. Um, okay, none of this matters. I'm not going to build anything. No one cares. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, we just have to sit here as hungry for a few seconds and do nothing, and um, and then and then we'll be playing as the actual nation that we want to play as. Redux has a lot of nations like this that kind of bug me, where it's like, oh, do you want to play as X country? Oh yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Like, there's a lot of countries in like America, like you have to wait till the Second American Civil War, or whatever. And it's like, oh, okay, so when can I play as them? Oh, you just have to wait one to two years in game to play as them, and it's like, br bruh, what? Uh, give it to me now, motherfucker. <laughs> like what? Um, none of this law matters, uh, because we're not going to play as Hungary. Let me give you the TLDR of what's happening in the Balkan region right now. So, going back to how the German Empire won World War One in this timeline, um, another one of their allies was Bulgaria. And guess what? Bulgaria is fucked up and evil, and Bulgaria took, like, territory of all of its neighbors. So, it fucked over Serbia, the biggest- oh my god, Mor Morava? There's another state that's exactly the fucking same- pronunciation and spelling is oh my god okay okay ignore it ignore it male ignore it so I fucked over serbia the most like look at all this uh territory here that like uh, serbia has claims on uh, i'd also fucked over greece i fucked over um our boys our people i fucked over romania by taking um uh dorubja and uh silistria dobruja dobru dobruja well, anyway, it took it took the cities of uh, Constantstar and uh, Dobrich. There you go. I pre I can pronounce those ones correctly. And then also took some territory from um uh, from Turkey here, Western Thrace. Which I mean, it's 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 either Turkey or or Greece. Uh, except it's not Turkey in this timeline. It's still the Ottoman Empire because they they won World War One as well. So um yeah, uh, Bulgaria is big and evil. And, uh, Hungary is also tired of, uh, Austria, um, fucking them over because, uh, they're called the Austrian Empire, but they're literally the Austro-Hungarian Empire. So Hungary is a little uh, upset being the, you know, second fiddle to, uh, the powerhouse that is Austria. And, uh, there's a lot of, lot of fucked up shit going on in Austria. Like, a lot of, um, minority groups want recommend, like, uh, want, um, rec recognition. And yeah, we don't care. We don't care about whatever Hungary's doing. We don't care, man. But yeah, it would be really cool if Redux did do a um a Transylvania tree, because Transylvania is kind of like this weird bit in between Hungary and uh, Romania. It's like this is this this protru prot protruding little thing, which Romania, you know, if you play as Romania, you can just go and get back, right? Because it's usually considered to be Romanian. And yeah, again, we are just sitting here doing nothing as uh, Hungary. Because we don't care about Hungary. Um, they have the crappiest tree ever. I'll show you quickly what their tree looks like. It's this. It's a, it's an abomination. It's just pick what ideology you want to play as and then go downwards. And you have military, navy, air force. Like, who cares? <laughs> what can you do? Oh, I just realized I didn't even do the thing properly. Oh, no. Oh no, tag ROM. I might have to fucking reload if they didn't do the right focus, man. They did do the right focus, we're fine. So yeah, like, for this specific tree as well, uh, for this specific nation that we want to play as, we, they, we needed to make Romania pick the specific focus in order to just do it as quickly as possible. Um, no, not attack Han, not play Han. Oh yeah. 
Um, and you can only do that if you use console commands. We're obviously not going to cheat this game. We are, we are a good boy. We play game normally. Uh, we are, we are pro Hoi4 gamer. Cap, cap, cap. Not true at all. I just like to have fun. I like the lore. I like the role playing. Um, I build the most simplest divisions ever, and then I just push them, and then try to do baby in segments, and uh, that's it. <laughs> Uh, I sure as shit am glad that we are playing um, an inland nation that doesn't have any access to water because the navy would make me want to bash my head against the wall. I hate he Hoi 4 navy. It is not good. Oh, and, and uh, this horrible thing happens at the start of the, the game. Uh, Black Monday, basically the whole world economy dies. So every nation gets fucked over because of Black Monday. Not much you can do about it except uh, slowly rebuild your economy. Here we go. This is what we want to see. Romania returns fire after shots. After our shots rang out, the Romanians ducked behind cover. A few minutes later, no white flag was seen waving over the border, but instead gun barrels. The border is in a state of war. What shall we do? And so as Hungary, we're going to say, this is war, and the Kingdom of Hungary declares war on Romania. Oh my god. And because we are a constituent of the Austrian Empire, the Austrian Empire joins our war. And because the Austrian Empire has Illyria as its constituent, the Illyria gets joined into the war as well. Checks on them, we don't have any economy in the first place, bruh. And because Galicia, uh, Lodomeria, which is basically, uh, former Polish territory, is a constituent, they get joined. And also Bohemia. So now Romania is going up against the full might of the Austrian Empire, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. They, they can, uh, they can handle it. We, we deleted all the Hungarian troops, we'll be fine. And here we go, this is where our story begins. The Banashian Revolt. The hotspot of unpopularity for this war are in our regions bordering Romania, Transylvania, and the Banat. Over the first few days of this war, the Banat has seen a general loss of order. The only order that remains is in Timisoara, and that order isn't even ours. A Swabian politician by the name of Otto Roth, with the backing of Hungarian officers and Romanian politicians, has dismantled Hungarian banners around the Timisora area and raised crimson red banners under the name of an independent Banat Republic. Outside Timisora, lawlessness still reigns over the land. However, masses of people from the chaos-stricken regions are moving towards Timisora, and the engulfed government of the Western Banat is reportedly attempting to join the Banat. The Banat Re Republic has sued for a white piece of the Romanians and are gathering soldiers in arms to retake their claimed land, the counties of Craso, Savroni, and the West Banat. Otto Roth is a reported social democrat and socialist. Damn, based. His government consists of himself, the more right-wing Hungarian officer Albert Barfa, syndicalist Perta Groza, and social democrat Ion Fluris. Whatever they think they're doing, they won't be doing soon after we finish this war. Uh, except uh, they will be, because fuck you, Hungary. We are going to be playing as Banat for the Republic. We lose stability, it's whatever. Oh, well, yeah, Hungary loses stability, get wrecked. But now Republic, they uh, take and control Crosso and Temes, and they get cores in them, and they also get a core in West Banat. Uh, it becomes a demilitarized zone, so we can't uh, put up troops just yet anyway. And uh, we will be playing as them. Because uh, that's the whole point of this goddamn stream, <laughs> is we want to play as them somehow. Cool, cool, cool. And now pause the game, and here we are. We are the Banat Republic. We are this little tiny abomination in Europe right now. Uh, this looks hella goofy, and we also can get West Banat later on, maybe, if we if we want. Um, so, Romania is pretty chill. They, like, uh, were pretty fine with us kind of just popping up out of nowhere right next to them. So, Romania is like, yeah, we, we're not going to attack you. Now, let's do some research. Um, I always like to go research speeds. Um, we could do double up on the uh, construction. When are we going to war? Like, is it super early? I think we have one or two years before we do a war. Um, so yeah, look at Banat's tree. Banat's tree is not the greatest, but it's also pretty good. I like this tree. You want to kill us? No. Stay, st stay where you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we will, of course, be going down this tree. The Kingdom in Exile. Uh, which I'll have to, like, follow and read read the guide or whatever. Um, so I think we're pretty good for the war. So I'm going to do production and construction. Because I don't need to boost up guns just yet. Which is uh, right here. Support weapons, yeah. We should be alright. 
Um, I don't care about the railway or trains yet or stability. Um, when we go to war, war support will be important, but it should be all right. Um, and then, yeah, so we got to keep an eye out for this, the company guide, the country guides, and we want to play as the kingdom, I believe. I seen a weird thing in the mod yesterday where the same person leads Italy twice. I've seen it as well, whereas, um, because, like, uh, the Union of Britain has a bunch of weird events where you can, like, uh, put a monarch on the throne again, and they can, like, join the German Empire, pretty much. Um, but he can put, like, Napoleon on the throne. He can put a bunch of people on. So you can have Napoleon as the as the King of Britain, and Napoleon as the as the French national state, na national state, and it's like, and be at war with each other. And it's like, why the fuck are you guys fighting each other? They're, it's, it's, the, you're ruled by the same guy. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> uh, so silly. Um, I should probably explain what I'm talking about. So yeah, this is the French national state. Um, so in this law, because uh, France lost the the World War One against German and also lost a bunch of territories to to the Germans, um, they had a big communist civil war, and so the actual proper government, the French national state, is over here in their African colonies, um, and they can also get like Napoleon's great 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 grandson to like lead the country, um, and he's a he's a he's a cringe communist uh, communist France, and here's a Union of Britain, they're also pretty cringe as well. Let's see, let's, let's, let's ignore them. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. This, this guide was not written very well. You can tell how old it is, but it's fine. So, um, how to play as, uh, no, on Iron Guard. How to get the kingdom in power. So we need Avram Imbrosk, so we need him to survive the attack. That's, that's the first thing we need to remember. Avram Imbrone. I don't know who the hell that is, but we'll make sure he doesn't die. Okay. And then, uh, what do we have to read here? So, Otto Roth, the peacemaker of the Balkans. He has political power, a recruitable population factor, and stability. Otto Roth, protector of Banat, unifier of Banat. Uh, call him what you will, but Otto Roth is nothing short of a Banatian hero. Now that Banat is an independent nation, Otto Roth was easily able to rally the Banatians under one banner. Born December 6, 1880, 1885, 1884, in uh, Nagy, Mutnik, Otto Roth was born a Jew. There he met Petru Groza. Uh, Roth went on to renounce the Jewish faith, attend Budapest University, and furthermore, uh, Leipzig University. He eventually joined the Hungarian Social Democratic Party, there Roth uh, ascended the ranks of the party, eventually moving into the Banat. Now, Roth stands as one of the most benevolent leaders of his time. Remarkable. Petru Groza continues to date him and his Minister of Defense, Albert Broffa. A barfer, plan Banat's survival accordingly. His threats are many, though, but with the right moves, Otto Roth can make the Banat Republic a prosperous land. And we have the three influences. So we're obviously being influenced by Serbia, Romania, and Hungary. They are the three nations are bordering us. And uh, we get a lowered stability because of it, and we also have way lower defense because of it as well. So if they were to attack us right now, which they can't, they would probably kick our buds very, very easily. Uh, these pe uh, three peoples work their hand over our Banat, the Hungarians in the north, the Romanians in the east, and the Serbians in the south. None of them should be allowed to continue influ influencing our politics. If we do allow this to continue, it is only inevitable that our independence will be forever lost. Defense of the Republic. So we get a bit of def division defense on core territory back up anyway. Recruitable pop is uh, increased. The Banat Republic, in order to survive, must have a proper army, thus heavy conscription has been implemented, but the soldiers are allowed to keep a relatively civilian life. The Banatian people will fight to the end in order to protect the Republic. And a dead economic state. So Black Monday just hit, and also we are pretty much not even a real country. We have two pieces of land, the krasos region and the Temes region, and pretty much every country around us thinks they own, own us. So let's uh, start getting to work trying to fix our country. Overthrow chaos. We get some stability, we get political power, we will no longer be a demil demilitarized zone, and we get an ethnic peace, which grants, grants us stability and war support. The lands of Banat, free albeit anarchic, have to be brought together by Otto Roth in order to turn the Banat into a real nation instead of a rebellious group. Timisoara is under siege by banditry and crime, as are the other cities of our republic. Once Banat is brought together, real progress can begin being made towards a prosperous nation. So yeah, um, by the way, there's also a bunch of different paths you can play as Banat if you want to, you know, you can stay as Otto Roth and do what he kind of intended to do. You can also go full super strong socialism, even more fucked up socialism. 
You can play as this military general, Albert Bartha, if you really want. This one's kind of like the most fucked up. I think it's the one most people play as as well. The Iron Guard, which is actually a Romanian-based, like, militant group. Um, this one's weird, though. It's like you become friends with the Iron Guard government in Romania, and you just become allies. Um, and also, this is, like, really cringe and fucked up. Like, this is, like, this is, you know, authoritarian and 1984 and, you know... Controlling the masses. We're, we're not about that on this channel. We we want to we want to be a good good benevolent leader who may or may not be a king, but still we we want to be as good as we can. Um, and we're gonna save the game here now that we are Benet. and put it up the speed. Uh, we can't build anything because we don't have anything really. Um, we don't even have any military factories. Okay. Um, we're not gonna build. Sieves, we are just going to build mills because we are going to have a reasonably early war. Um, I think, bef but like by 1938, we will be going to war with someone that you know, <laughs> someone that we want to be a part of. Oh, also, what's kind of fucked up is uh, yeah, Austria just keeps on um. Uh, like fighting Romania, so that that's gonna not get not gonna end well. Um, local police force. What is the um? We don't have any resistance. Why is it telling me we have resistance? That's a lie. I prefer local autonomy personally because I like um compliance gain. But you know, if if you need to jump down to local police force, then you need to jump down to local police force. Because yeah, most people don't like the uh the. Um, resistance. Uh, peace deal has been signed between Romania and the Austrian Empire, ending their hostilities. And I don't think anything bad happens to Romania. They just say that they have a truce. So, it's okay. Romania is fine. They fucked up some of the Austrians, and then that's it. Oh, also, we just fucking got West Bernat all of a sudden as well. Interesting. And it is our core. Uh, I think Hungary was just like, let's not deal with those people. Let's just, um, just give it to them. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we don't... Oh, God, we have all their old freaking uh, military stuff. Um, I'm not going to go through this just yet, because I don't need to. That's probably the best one so far. Eh, eh. Do we have a horse one? We do, so get rid of that. I hate crappy ones like this. If we want to use tanks, we can use that. That's pretty good, actually, for tanks. Um, yeah, get rid of these. I'm not going to delete them, but, you know, if we... Uh, you can basically just click this and see all the old ones. This is a pretty decent template, actually, already. But we can't make any troops right now until we have uh, reformed our little baby nation and got some sense of industry going. Because we don't have any sieves, no mills... Uh, no construction speed. <laughs> um, oh yeah, well, and these are all, like, the different ideologies, like, the different political parties of your nation as well. Sometimes they have, like, massive, like, big, te uh, like, paragraphs to read. Like, we could read what social democracy is. I don't think anyone cares. And those little pop-ups that pop up, they're just, um, different little nations that are, like, joining factions or whatever. Because there's, uh, there's Malta and there's Crate. Though they recently got uh, an update, actually. They actually have full focus trees now. Would be fun to, to try them out sometime. <laughs> and yeah, most of this game is just sitting and waiting until the, uh, the focus tree ticks over. <laughs> Coolio, overthrow chaos. Um, I gotta be keeping an eye out on political power. Um, none of this really matters for the time being. Um, I guess get military XP, right? Early war. Yeah, save up 150 military experience. Oh yeah, they've changed these since last time I played. These are different actually now. Hmm. Two military, two navy, and two air focuses. Okay, okay. It gives you way more experience. I usually go with the one that gives you the most, so I'd probably go with Doctrine of Autonomy. 
Okay, and we can also do a military high command, which also gives you a bunch of stuff as well. Yeah, so right now we're just going to save up to 150 PP. Easy peasy. The Nation of Peace. Now that Banat's landscapes have been pacified, it's time to put our nation in a time of healing, peace, and growth. Banat shall be, at least for now, the Nation of Peace. Odorov must ensure the continued absence of all violent actions as our army hasn't yet been built, which could mean disaster. We get lots of stability, very good. And we unlock decisions to increase stability slightly. These won't go away until government change. Oh, these won't go away upon government change. So if we, we decide we want to play as a different form of government, which we definitely do, then um, then that's good. They won't go away, the, uh, the bonuses. That's probably what we'll actually be spending up political power on. The st stability right now is not all that bad. Oh yeah, we could also be working on industry right now, but um, I think for the most part, we should reform our government before we reform our industry, before we reform our mil uh, military industry, right? They're probably doing a bit of industry right now would be good to not have literally nothing. <laughs> and does Kazo Redux have like its own thing that I can play. It kind of does. Yeah, can I like only choose KX to play? If right now we're only listening to access music. I don't want to do that. KX, 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 KX. Cool. I hopefully not like most of this music isn't copyrighted. It probably will be. Okay. Okay, yeah, mm hmm. I think this is German music, is my guess. Um, do we have like a, a country idea that like this adds to? No. We just get stability. It's not really that useful. We still get more stability. We have so much stability already. War support, I wouldn't mind going up. I just, none of this is like important, these ideas. I'm just gonna ignore them. We don't really need it too much. Peace with a military, the vanguard of peace. Um I guess before we do military, we'll we'll do this stuff, we'll do defense, get our government stronger, even though we are gonna switch ideologies, whatever. Everyone say two land forts, that's really strong actually. In the lands that we do control, it is important that we minimize crime and all violent acts. Uh, protecting peace is the same thing as protecting Banat. Rolf must ensure that he satisfies all the population with his current policies, as any widespread violence will surely topple Banat. Okay. So, did anyone play Benelord? Is it any good? Benelord 3? I see a lot of people really like that game. I, uh, I played the, uh, the old one, Mountain Blade, and that one was alright. <laughs> this Kaiser Redux music is way cooler than the Kaiser than the the base vanilla game music. I don't care whatever's going on in China right now. China always has like a bunch of infinite wars going on. It's insane. Toba Bale, Dom 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 Dom. Tobe, Tobo Bate, Toba Bate. Okay, nearly 150 PP. There it is. Grab me my army XP. Bam. We need to save up 35 to get even more. It's a join the war song. My father used to sing it to me. Army was obligatory during this time. Oh, yeah. Uh, mandatory. I get you. Yeah. Okay. Also, engineering. Uh, finished. Cool. Do the next one. Vanguard of Peace. Very nice. 
Uh, saves? Yeah, I would like some saves. Political power. Uh, social, social democracy goes up. Um, unlocks the decisions to bolster the industry and get small bonuses. These won't go away upon government change. We've established already that peace must be protected for the moment. Criminals on trial must be treated fairly, as who knows what trials could reach the public at cause our age. We are, for now, the will of the population, which has to stop as soon as possible. Huh. Fair and just protection. Well, we will be fair and just towards the people. Until we get a proper king running this country who knows what he's doing properly. So I don't know when the um like the pop-ups start. I'm assuming we have to complete this yeah. Yeah, we have to complete this tree first, so. And then and then it will be like more of what we want to be doing. Which is why I'm gonna rush it down instead of doing industry. <laughs> Though right now we don't even have a standing army, which is hella fucked up, but whatever. We have a bunch of forts. Maybe, maybe the maybe the forts will slow them down as they push through our nation in ten seconds. I wonder what's going to kick off. Oh, Estonia already got uh fucked up. Not Estonia. Um, what is this called? What was this called before? I think it's called the the Baltic Duchy. Yeah, because it's now it's now split up into Estonia, Latvia, and Riga, the city of Riga. Because usually it's like an actual country, but now it's been split up. Lithuania, White Ruthania, which is uh, Belarus. Uh, Poland should be independent by now, right? No, they're not independent yet. Rip. Okay, now we'll focus on some military. Peace of military. The need for a military is extreme. Uh, lawlessness rules much of the land outside Timisoara, which means that we cannot gain the full benefits of our territory. Once we build a sizable military, we can begin to see the fruits of our country. Manpower, war support, and one mill. Thank God we're getting some mills on the goddamn map. Uh, hello, Levenston. I uh, I apologize. I have no idea what that says, uh, as I would not be able to speak any other language than English. <laughs> I never got to get Baltic Duchy broken up. Now, uh, really? Wait, what? You never get Baltic Duchy broken up? Wait, do you have it in like uh, game rules? Uh, Levenston, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna have to keep it somewhat English for me, <laughs> otherwise, I don't know, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> um, okay, so we can build up the industry a little bit here. Again, this just gives us sieves and mills and yada yada. Um, none of this is really that crazy good. Nope, I don't change the game mode. Okay, no, 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 the game rules, the game rules. H how did the Baltic Duchy never get broken up though? Also, what they're saying, I don't know what they're saying, which means I'm going to have to block them, unfortunately, because, like, I don't, I, I don't know. I block ban them. I, like, I apologize. I, like, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You got to speak some English. Like, I, like, people who can speak another language, you can, like, say a few words, but if you, if you're only going to speak one language, and I'm like, hey, please say something else, then it's like, what do I do? Because for all I know, they, he could be saying, like, the most fucked up, like, racist shit ever in another language, and I wouldn't know. I'm not really allowed that, am I? So, yeah. Okay, but we do actually have some mills now, so we're, bu we're building mills. No, we have some sieves now, so we're building some mills. Because we don't have any mills. <laughs> And the reason why I'm going to focus on mills right now is because uh, we're going to have an early war, so we want to build a lot of stuff very quickly. Um, and also, once we reclaim Romania, we're just going to get a bunch of sieves back anyway. Bro went certainly and then continued typing in, in Russian. That's bro. Howdy. Howdy, Mobius. How you doing? Hello, hello. Okay, basic machines are done as well. I'm doing all of this, which is like kind of not even worth. Oh, we should probably go concentrated. Yeah, go concentrated this early. A lot of our wars are going to be super early, so there's no reason to do dispersed. We're also not changing over too much stuff once we get a mill to build things. Like, we are going to be using guns and artillery. That's probably it. Um, doing alright. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Uh, we're playing as this little tiny baby nation, Banat, and we will uh, get the right people in charge and then uh, reclaim Romania. That is the goal of today's stream. 
And uh, let's keep getting some more army experience. Breakthrough. Okay, these are all... Pl oh, plus 12. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Do that. And we just want to save up to 35 XP so we can get the other little boost of it. Experience and war support? No, we want the mills. Uh, but peace is just one option. <laughs> okay. That's a bit of edgy, but fair enough. Uh, the army has been formed and we are claiming to attempt to protect the peace, but there's an undeniable fact. The fact is that peace is simply an option. Now that Banat can field an army, if violence were to break out, we now have the ability to curb it. Modify defense of the Republic, we get a recruitable pop, more attack and defense on our core territories, and two mills! For the love of God, give me some mills. There's the mills. Okay, make gun. Um, we only have gun right now. Coolio. Um, are you okay? Basic infantry. Okay, yeah, because you can't make an artillery. I get that. Um, but we can stop trying to field you out. And then yeah, just do it on the um on the um on the wall, and then literally just. Pump out as much as you can. Uh, yeah, that's 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 a good amount. That's a good balance. Yeah, I know we gotta do artillery. We'll be we'll do artillery in a second. Having artillery as a support company is like great. Like it, it's just good extra soft attack that you kind of need. Um, yeah, like this is a good. This is a very good division right now that I like. <laughs> Also, what's interesting about this nation is once you do reclaim Romania, and let's say, hypothetically speaking, you were you want to go attack Hungary, uh, you actually have, like, a bit more of a front to, like, mess around with. Oh, and Germany declared war on Poland, which is not good. I wouldn't have want. I preferably did not want that. How the fuck did Poland get... Damn. Okay. Did they, like... How did they... Oh, no, no, they would have... Uh, yeah, okay, Order 66, they would have just had people, like, there. This kind of sucks. I wanted Poland to be independent, but whatever. What can you do? Which, like, if they... If German Empire declares war on them, they are going to lose. And if they are going to lose, then they will just be forced to be a puppet again. Is what it is. Oh, I kind of missed out doing this. That's fine. More army experience. And there it is. Poland is... Poland is yeeted. And usually, yep, yeah, there it is. I become a puppet. Rip, rip Poland. They can never catch a W, sadly. Um, I know people don't like excavation. Do we have any resources at all? We have tin. No, aluminium. Okay, kind of a waste to do any of that. Oh, I don't mind doing the uh, radio. Radio is fine. We don't really have a whole lot to research, thankfully. We have guns and artillery. That's all we need to focus on. We are not going. I'm not going to fill tanks to go against Romania. Like that is insane. Uh, Royalist migration into our company. Okay, well that's not happened. Uh, professional peacekeepers, army experience, and war support. The war support would be really nice. Unlocks the decisions to gain men power and small bonuses. These won't go away until uh, upon government change. But Nat does not have the largest population. It, in fact, has a very small army, so we must make the most of it. Every generation of Banashian armies must know that size must be appropriate, not drastically oversized. The focal point of our armies will be the quality. Banat's armies will be some of the highest trained men on Earth. And we have a bit more... So uh, we haven't even re researched artillery. That's actually really not good. Uh, get a train going, though. That's what we can, that's what we can do. I don't know if I want support equipment. I want support equipment eventually, maybe, for military police, but even then, not really. I don't think I'm going to be, f like, holding a lot of uh, annexed territory for that long. This music goes hard, though. Romanian monarchist influence. Well, there you go. Speaking about the focus. The establishment of our Banat Republic has brought quite a bit of unwanted attention to that of Romanian monarchist and loyalist to Carol II. 
Which is crazy, because right now they have Nikolai the First in power. This is another problem with, like, the we're playing as Romania. Is like, I think, like, by default, Nikolai always gets in power instead of Carol, which is weird. It's even rumored that the king himself is being hidden in our country along with his cabinet. The monarchists already had a foothold, but now it is larger. Odorov's inspection of the streets of Timisora found him looking at many monarchist posters and suspicious men. Their eyes looked at Rov crookedly, as if they were seeking something from him. Something to rob. What the fuck? Okay, bruh. There's no problem with playing Romania. No, 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 no. I know, I know. It's, it's, it, Romania's great. I'm just saying, like, it's weird. Like, there's, there's a, we, there's a few weird issues I've noticed because I've played Kaiserreich and I've played Kaiser Redux. There's a few weird issues. It's the exact same tree. It's the exact same tree, but I've noticed weird issues. Like, the balance of power is weird and, and stuff. But look at this, we, we get introduced to some Romanians, and it's like, yeah, they're gonna fucking rob us, bruh. Their gazes haunted his crews, whether they be from beige-coated men or black-coated men, everywhere they spied. When Odorov returned to the presidential residence, shaken, he was arsy obvious. Are you okay? Of course, that's a no from him, as he laid out the details of inspection, his spinning brain, his lack of concentration on the task at hand. Well, President, the loyal man replied, couldn't they just not be trying to get caught staring at you, our President? No, no, sir, there was no way, Roth replied, holding his head. He straight, uh, straightened, uh, looking, uh, he straightened, looking beyond the disconcerned man. I must discuss this with Bartha, Roth excused, turning tail and walking away with an obvious droop in his gait. This may not be a good thing. We're a listening flux, monthly pop, but stability go down, though. There's no war in Romania. There's no war in Romania. All quiet on the Western Front. That's not it. That's all quiet on the Eastern Front. Why did I fuck that up? Well, it will be all quiet on the Western Front for us. I don't think we're going to be fighting on the West at all, really. Uh, well, eventually we will if we want to go take Hungary. If we're hungry for some Hungary, then maybe. But right now, our two biggest concerns are Romania and then Bulgaria. Because uh, Hungary is a bit of a annoying thing to fight. Because you have to fight all of Austria. Right? Like, you have to literally... Like, Austria is pretty strong. Let's be honest. Austria is big and strong. They have a lot to deal with. Um, but Romania by itself and Bulgaria by itself, usually. Also grab plus one. Bam. Oh, uh, what do we unlock here? We unlocked mobilization speeds. Recruitable pop, recruitable pop. See, this is only for 180 days. That's why I'm not doing any of these, because I don't think they're particularly good. Okay. Questioning the royalist influx. Avam Imbre makes a speech. There has recently been an influx of Romanian monarchists into the country, perhaps seeking to take over and establish a government in exile. The goals of these monarchists are known, but the, those are the likely answers. They must also be seeking to escape. They may also be seeking to escape the Iron Guard. Oof. I've seen the second Well Creek start fast as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it can start very quickly. Yep. Um, Fr uh, National France can also attack uh, communist France really quickly as well. Like literally in 1936. It's insane. Usually the Russian Empire doesn't do anything like that early, thankfully. Russia's just going to be being chilling in our game, I think. France always dies by Germany? Yeah. I mean, Germany's just too strong. Like, Germany is strong for a reason. <laughs> they won World War One, And, like, yeah, they do get fucked up because of Black Monday. But, like, they have so many other, like, puppets to, like, help them. Unless Russia strike, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, Banat Republic's tree is kind of crap, I'll be honest. It's just red with some blue lines. Kind of boring. 150. Let's get some more army XP. I think these are all just plus 6, right? Attrition, attack, and defense on core territory? That sounds really good to me because we have the... We will be... These will be considered cores. I like it. I like it. Now I kind of want to see an anime where the demon lord conquers the world, but the economy, it's in the ground. Lamau. That'd be kind of based. 
Yeah, I think I think the yeah breakthrough is all right too. Speed and yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go homeland because we want to reclaim our homelands. Eventually, anyway, once we get the monarchs in power, then I can then I can hype up the roleplay a bit more. Okay, there we go. Avram Imbrune makes a speech two hours ago at Liberty Square in Timosara. Monarchist advocator Aram Imbrune established a makeshift podium with his entourage, and with a booming voice that could be heard all over the great city, proposed his idea for a constitutional mar monarchy in the Banat, with Otto Roth as Prime Minister and the King Carol II as Head of State, and he would have a final say. The hordes trickled into the square, listening to this proposal with unlocked ears and minds. Albert Barfa, disguised as a commoner as he usually was, set foot in the range of the thunderous speech of Imbrunais. Imbrunain. The Republic would not survive this century. It will never survive this century. Not without a strong figurehead. Roth is too lenient and too generous. He gives you too much. So much so, so, uh, so much so that you wish for more. Eternally hungry for more. And that inspires a feeling that you can do whatever you want, and that is never how a country should be run. Banat is no, it, Banat is no anarchy. Uh, Barfa, deeply troubled, realized the points in Imbrunain's speech, especially that of Roth's leniency. None of the unscrupulous outlaws prowling the country were executed, none given hefty punishment, none given what they had deserved. The thundering speech of Imran only continued about how the government was doomed for failure as Barfa slinked back to the safety of the government complex. We won't listen to anything that rabble rouser has to say. Stability go down, authoritarian democracy go up. Questioning the Romanian regime, a change in popularity of national pop, which is not the good best, but that goes up, and Kingdom Romania gets a vent royalist influx into Venat. The monarchists have forced us to take a position against our neighbor and influencer, the Iron Guard in Romania. Our choice here may decide the fate of Venat's government. So yeah, right now, Romania uh, picked some fucked up people to run their country. They picked the Iron Guard, um, uh, head by uh, Cornelo Codrono, which I, I think is a really fucked up Nationalist guy, right? He's pretty fucked up and evil. <laughs> they really need to fix this uh, guide box. It's like so stupid. I can barely close it. I can't. I can't close it, Lamar. I can't close it. It's like won't. There we go. Make guns. Make more guns quicker. Actually, I just realized. Do we really not have any consumer goods? Jesus Christ no, almighty. I was like, oh, we should probably uh, trade for some uh, for some iron, but no, for some steel. But no, we don't even have a sieve to trade. Oh, and we have some army XP. I don't know what uh, thing we're going to go for, honestly, at this point. What land doctrine? Probably Grand Battle Plan. That's the best one, right? Well planned attack, I like. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything like, good down here. Breakthrough as well, though. Yeah, I think it's always like a salt is probably the best one, right? I think we'll just do um, a division speed move and tactics a little cheaper. That's usually one I go for if like I don't see any decent um, land doctrine, like uh, tactic to choose. <laughs> Here we go. Attempted murder on Avram Imbrunay. 
Two hours ago from uh, 1 o'clock, 27th of November, 1936, apartment 44, Piata Morasti, Avriam Mbino, was pacing in his apartment, contemplating his thoughts and next move. Thump, thump, his door rumbled, but he was too engrossed in his thoughts to notice. The door creaked open and a lone man crept in. Imbrunet turned around in his pacing to an armed citizen. What do you... Imbrunet began before three gunshots, bang, 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 rang out from across the room and whizzed towards the perplexed and angry Imbrunet. All three hit him squarely in unimportant areas, but blood as red as a flag of Banat flows out of, his, out of his body. As the security guard rushed out the, uh, up the stairs, shot the gunman dead, and ran into Imbrunet's room, Imbrunet bled and bled, coughing and sputtering. He was ferried off to a hospital within minutes, and soon a crowd of monarchists had formed around the hospital, chanting angrily against the government and waiting anxiously for the announcement. It seemed like days before they got an announcement, but it really was only one hour since the trio of gunshots. After that hour had trickled over, the administrator exiled the building to the anxious masses, uh, exited the building to the anxious masses, and to the crowd, he pronounced that Avril Mirene, loyal to King Carol II, had initially survived the three gunshots, and will be saving just in case, but he will have survived. He's in a critical condition, but he will recover. Yay! The king's right-hand man is alive. It's okay, it's okay. Speaks out, neither options matters. Okay. I wish I could close this so pro- I need to not keep opening this. It's so annoying though. Okay, so what do we do right now? So we can't do anything. I say we focus on- Hello, Lom. How are you doing? Hi, hi, hi. Um, yes, a, lo a lot's happening right now, but nothing, nothing crazy has happened yet, thankfully. Uh, we definitely need to just focus on industry for the time being, right? Yeah. Dead economic save becomes economic re-resurrection beginning. Cool. The economy of Banat is non-existent. That isn't exactly the best thing. A revival and renaissance of Banat is needed and an integral part of the structure is an economy. An economy that we do not currently have. Bam. Metal Gear Romania, the Phantom Birthright. Hell yeah. So uh, we right now we don't have the Romanians in power in Banat. But that's okay because it's, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. And Romania is currently ruled by the Iron Guard which kind of are fucked up and evil. I'm pretty sure this guy is pretty fucked up in your history, right? Kamalu Kodranu. Kodranu, he's kind of, he's he's not good. And they, they, they've kicked out the actual monarchy family. They kicked out Carol II. Oh, Alex Skullface from MGS5 is Hungarian. He is! We actually were playing as Hungary at the start as well. Because you have to play as Hungary to, to get Vanat unlocked. Imbrunane protests against the government, stumbling out of the hospital. On the day he was proclaimed to be released, Imbrunane was greeted by a silent crowd. No cheers, no noise. Just the noise of the wind and the na and nature of Timisara. It was a silent vigil. Imbrunane preached, perched himself on the stairs to the hospital, and with vigor further emphasized the evil government and how Roth was out to get him. <gasps> no, no, we kind of love him. Wait, you like Kodrano? Okay, well, okay. I, I regret saying anything bad about him then. Kodrano, he's okay then? He's kind of cool? I guess? I don't know, he's got- I'm just saying he's like, he's kind of nationalist is the problem. Can't wait to summon mod Serbia to have Venom Snake as the leader, that would be pretty hard. Okay, okay, so what do we need to do here? I don't think we need to do anything here. He speaks out, neither option matters. But then we need to not give him guards, okay. Um, attempt to appease him, or he can't do anything to us. Um, well eventually we want to get Paternal Autocratic in. Uh... That's plus five. That's also plus five. Stability? We already have quite a bit of stability. I guess we'll... He can't do anything to us. This sounds more of what we want to do. We want to get... We want to get the monarchists, the royalists in power. So this Otto Roth, this fool, this idiot who doesn't know how to run a country, he can't do anything for us. Stability will go down. Political power will be increased and all authoritarian democracy will go up. Alex, he was a fascist. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I thought it was like, uh oh um, I guess we can do some research stuff. So we'll do 100 there. Save up 150 here. Do we have a sieve at least now? We still do not have a sieve. Wonderful. Yeah, well, back in 2009, we had a movie about a far-right uh, legion warrior who fought against communism. He's kind of a hero to us. Never said he was perfect. Man had a few flaws. <laughs> he did some good stuff, but he was still a bad guy. Uh -huh. Another attempt on... Uh, by the way, can you guys tell me who this Imbro uh, Imbrone guy is? I'm assuming he's not super important. I think he's just, like, friends with King Carol. He was just King Carol's, like, right-hand man. Assumedly, anyway, from the context of this story. Um, 
Even though uh, Avram and Brene survived the first attempt on his life, there was another. As he was giving another speech today, a line of gunshots echoed throughout the open air. Of course, Imrene ducked for cover, and as the crowd fled and the dust cleared, there were no apparent injuries. The distance had saved Imrene, and rumoured had it that he is already preparing another anti roth speech. We have to do something sooner or, later, sooner or later, because this government may become no more with just how slow it is responding to a crisis such as this. Find the assassin. Stability and political power goes down. He was a priest and also a politician. Ah, makes sense, makes sense. Imbrunane speaks out again, angry and embittered by the government's uh, numerous failures and misdemeanors. Uh, Imbrunane has protested our government once again, with fiery speeches that echo throughout the entire republic, lighting some of the spirits of the people. His movement is gaining support dangerously quickly, and protests are cropping up from the small batches to large, sponsored riots. Odorov continues to denounce and verbally attack protesters, and especially Imbrunane, but it does not help. In fact, it just riles them up more. It seems there is no way, no easy win for us, and the one and one solution is cooperation. I'll make a save here, just to be safe. Yeah, that's pretty much all he is. That matters. Laval, fair, fair. Okay. And so now we want to not give him armed guards. We have to do something, but we aren't going to give him armed guards. Authoritarian democracy goes up. Royalist unrest. The speech is... Speeches delegated out to the population by Avram Ibrunayn have obviously been having no good effects on the population. His attacks on the government, pointing out its flaws in his views, are riling up our population with a terrible amount of speed. These protests that have started small from the minority monarchists who fled to Banat after its establishment have evolved into large swaths of people clamoring for the ousting of Otto Roth. Uh, it seems to be taking a toll on, him, on his mental health, although his personal uh, doctor says that with time, Otto Roth will recover, and that time being after stability is restored to the Bedout Republic. Hell, no, no, that's not happening, bro. Not until we get our good King Carol II in power. He became someone that, su that sustained the Union of Transylvania and Romania in 1918. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I heard Bedout was, like, a was like an actual nation. Uh, it was, like, a real thing that existed, like, right after World War One. After the German Empire was beaten? But not Republic. But it only existed for like a very, sh very short time. Uh, Short-lived state. Um, proclaimed in Timisara, circa 31st of October 1918, during the dissolution of Austria-Hungary. Yeah, here it is. I'm pretty sure that you guys uh, over-exaggerated a little. No far-right group ever did anything wrong. No one can reply here. Stop, I got a good one, Alex. Alex, the legionnaires in Roman Romania did a lot of fucked up things, yeah. So that's why, by the way, by the way, Lom, so we did have a path. We could have chosen the Iron Guard in Banat, and we could have uh, just teamed up with the Iron Guard national national populists in, in Romania, but I thought that was a bit fucked up. I That would have been not, not nice, so we did not do that one. Instead, we are doing this one, which we haven't started yet, but we'll get to it. Um... So yeah, what do we want? What do we want? What do we do? What do we do for the guide here? Blame the royalists. We have to blame the royalists. Easy peasy. Please go up. Please, for the love of God, go up. Okay, so I'm gonna blame the monarchists. I think that's what they mean by royalists, right? So I'm I'm still like as Otto Roth, and I'm like, oh my God, I hate those monarchists. Why do they love King Carol II so much? I'm gonna denounce all of y'all. And the stability goes down. Okay, legionnaires killing Jews in drive by as fucking Christ. Monarchists raise a militia. The dastardly monarchists under Avram and Brene have managed to legally secure enough arms to raise a militia under the guise defending the country from the evil Iron Guard. However, this veil is transparent. We know for a fact that they plan on taking over our government with this militia, and the only way to avoid it is by cooperation, even if it increases the influence of the monarchists in the country. Cooperation with this radical militia could be the difference between life and death for Otto Roth's government. We can either say that's not a bad development at all, or we could say they mean business. Cooperation may be preferable. So we could just be like, oh, that's bad, or like, oh, that's so bad, let's, um, let's, let, please don't kill us. And this should be the last one, right? We don't cooperate with them. Epic. 
That's not a bad development at all. Wait, what? Oh, we're, we're actually like closing our eyes and, and ears and going, la 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 la. There's no monarchists in our country. There's no monarchists in our country. La la la. Stability, political power, and manpower go, d go down and authoritarian democracy go up. How did Dracula once said in a comedy movie, uh, they had it coming? What the fuck? What the fuck, man? That one's a bit too far. You, you gotta, you, you guys gotta calm down. I knew, I knew playing Wii Four would be a little edgy, right? I expected it. <laughs> God damn it. We had someone come in and just speaking Russian. I'm like, hey, you gotta speak something other than Russian because I don't know what you're saying. And then they just kept saying Russian, so I had to ban them. Okay, okay, maybe they did a little bad things, only a little bit. Royalist seized power. That's what I want to see. Since Codrono took control over Romania, he has purged much of the traditionalist monarchist influence in the government. Despite declaring himself a staunch monarchist, Codrono's plan for total control uh, would be stifled by a powerful and beloved monarch who might oppose him. These purge royalists fled Romania, and when Benat declared his independence, they found a home in which they could plan their return without interference, uniting under the banner of the National Renaissance Front. That plan has finally been put into motion. Royalists rallying around Carol II have taken control. Supported by much of the citizenry of Benat, the Royalists have also found support amongst the Romanian populace despite government crackdowns. As expected, the first proclamation made by the FRN is the restoration of the monarchy. The crowning of King Carol II will be held within the following weeks. Begin proceedings for a formal coronation. Stability goes down, but who the fuck cares? The Royalists become the ruling party. Big increase an authoritarian democracy and we also get events the crowning of carol the second and here we go the president of the country is the guy that survived a bunch of uh, gunshots uh, in brene the government idea albert Barfa has been removed because it's pretty yeah that's fine and uh funnily enough we actually have uh the same the same flag <laughs> the benashian kingdom and and romania the kingdom of romania have the exact same flag because of course they would uh, um how many hours you has in Hoi 4? Okay, well, I would like to preface that me having a lot of hours in Hoi 4 does not dictate that I'm a good Hoi 4 player. I have 2,211 hours in Hoi 4, though. There you go. Um, yay, monarchy. Yay, can't wait to be ruled by blood drinkers for the next 100 years. Yippee! Alex, you're thinking of the Hungarian uh, Countess of Bavid in Blood. Do USA have any monarchy paths? I think they do. I'm pretty sure they do. Coolio. Um, so yeah, we gotta wait for the coronation and then we can do the, the tree. The crowning of King Carol II. At last, the kingdom of Romania has returned. It may not be at all its, uh, may not be at its heartland, but soon that will change, and change begins today. His Majesty King Carol II, King of the Kingdom of Romania in exile, has been crowned today in Temis. Cheers across the Romanian royalists stuck in the despicable Iron Guard Romania have, ro ha wait, what? Did I not read that right? Cheers across the Romanian royalists stuck in the despicable Iron Guard Romania have erupted, and for once the royalists have succeeded. The new kingdom is reorganizing, mobilizing, and rearming, overseen by his majesty. Today begins the reconquest, the retaking of Romania from the tyranny that inhabits it, and furthermore the retaking of the hearts of all Romanians. Hurrah! Long live the king, long live Carol II. He becomes the leader for the authoritarian uh, democracy party. He's ex Exiled, and our nation will be known as the Kingdom of Romania in exile. We will get the event Royalists in control of Benat, and this will unlock a part of the focus tree. We will replace the defense of the Republic with the defense of the Kingdom. More recruitable population, more division attack, less attack on core territory, but that's okay. And we will replace the three influences with only the two influences. For we are not influenced by Romania, we are Romania. There he is. There's our boy. There's our boy. Carol II, former heir to the throne of Romania, has regained his rightful throne as king of Romania. Oh, sorry, I need to move my um little my little my little chat thing. Um, because it's like blocking me from reading this, unfortunately, Lamar. Uh, Heights I show border. Here we go. I should probably just try and put it here on the right side of the screen, maybe. I'm n I'm n I never really read chat when it's like on the right side of the screen, but that's okay. Okay. Um, game, 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 game. 
Uh, as King of Romania, Carol seeks to stamp out all traces of the Iron Guard that bled his country dry. In his anger comes an intense desire to restore the glory Romania once had and further that, a dream that he believes will come soon with the help of the many loyal monarchists assisting his new Romania. Having also retaken his uh, retaken his heartland, Carol's ambitions are only... Um, only fervid. He only wants to see Romania prosper as a shining example of what to do uh, in the Balkan Peninsula, a place notorious for its instability. Like the previous ruler, Otto Roth, Carol II loves his people dearly and would do most near anything to save Romania. Carol's affirmed Greater Romania will put his soul to rest and fulfill his dreams. It is only then that Romania will gain its destined place among the great nations, a ferocious country with a resolve unbreakable. I have a dream to make Romania great great again and we're fucking we're hyping it up we have like 50 percent party popularity this is kind of high this is kind of high we need we need to build up our industry though before we get a, a good army going and we only have like a two tile um front which is going to be a little interesting but that's okay uh okay i don't care what's going on in in, in the asias right now it's completely irrelevant to me thank you pop up And yes, um, Banat and the Big Boom Boom. <laughs> Once we've uh, done this focus, yep, now we can focus on the Carol, Carol the Second Tree. First, steal Transylvania back. Lom, great idea. Uh, I'm not going up against war against Austria-Hungary right now. That is insane. Look, look how strong Austria is right now. Look how strong they are. This is insane. If I fight Hungary, I have to fight all of them. Whereas Romania and Bulgaria are a lot easier to target. I had a dream to be king of the Hokage Hunters. <laughs> Here we go. The kingdom in exile. So I really like the pictures of these. The Republic has been toppled, now under the command of the rightful king of Romania, Carol II. Benat will serve as our base of operations until it is time to retake our birthright. For now, however, the kingdom of Romania in exile must be sure to lay low to avoid the death stare of the Iron Guard. There is no doubt that they will be hasty to declare war on us. Authoritarian and paternal autocracy goes up. Remove the two influences. We now no longer have stability loss or defense bone uh, defense loss against Hungary and Serbia. Bam. I vote fight Hungary. Yeah, that's a cap. That's not happening. Should we ally with Australia? Uh, what if, what is Australia going on? I don't think I can ally with them. Um, Australian Confederation. They're just chilling. They got this the country party in the market liberals. They got, uh, this is the, the gen, not the general. There's like a name for this guy, Alexander Forruthen. Yeah, because I have the, I have the prime minister here. This is like the, the, the British representative, pretty much. And our research is done. Should we ally with Texas? It depends if Texas gets made yet. I don't think they'll see, yeah, American uh, Civil War hasn't happened yet. It can happen this early, but it just has not happened yet. Okay, we need to do artillery right now, for the love of God. Um, construction, oh, no, we gotta do guns. I mean, we still have some time, no, but do, do guns. Guns is more important. So, let's invade Australia. They lost to emus anyway, Lamau, bruh. Um, so later on in the tree, we will be able to decide who we can ally with, but for now, we cannot worry about that. We must worry about retaking our birthright. That is the main point. That is the main point of why King Carol has come into power in Banat. We must seize our lands from the dastardly Iron Guard. Who the fuck is this Nikolai the First? He's the fourth child of King Ferdinand and and Queen Maria of Romania. So is this just like the youngest son of of like is he is he the younger brother of Carol? What a fucking pretender! He's a pretender to the throne. He's no he's no true king. <sighs> let's go, let's go, team. Let's go. I wish there was a way to, like, only play, like, I don't know, Balkan or Romanian-based music, but you can't. I, I can bring up the, the music player, but, like, you only pick, like, little packs like this. National Radio. I guess get rid of the international one. Are these, like, different countries, maybe? I don't know what languages these are. I think I picked, like, the two that I want. 
Um, on taunts. Ah. Okay. Um, support. We don't really need support. We will need trucks though. We will need trucks. Keep making guns. Guns, guns, guns. We will get more mills soon and, and actually start forming a freaking army for the love of God. Can we peek in on how much men they have? How do you look at this? Intel ledger? Um, how many units? They have 10 to 21 units. Okay. 10 to 21 units. That's actually not bad at all. We can definitely manage that. Thankfully, the focus tree gives us a lot of free units, so like that's like most of it right there. And it is 1937. Stream, don't lag now. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing. Nothing's happening. I'll tell you if anything's happening. <laughs> Uh, uh, the main problem with Hoi 4 is it's mainly just sitting around until the next focus tree, like, hits, right? There we go. Now, we have a little decision to make. Uh, no, 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 now it's all good. Cool, cool, cool. We have priority number one. There is no time to wait. Romania is preparing to take back Silistria and Dobruja, which they lost in the Weltkrieg, which Bulgaria now owns. We have to attack now before their army gets any stronger. So this is true. This is a good point. Romania could indeed declare war on Bulgaria and seize the former rifled Romanian territories of Dobruja and Silistria, which Bulgaria, the Sardom of Bulgaria, wrongfully stole from them in the First World War, the First World Krieg. Or we could preparations outrank all, Preparation is key, perhaps with the right time, and we can intervene in a war involving Romania and Bulgaria. However, by the looks of things, we may need to prepare for war with the Serbians too. Steal all back. We will, we will definitely steal all back, Lom. Don't worry. And so this one is a bit more of a slow build-up. We get one sieve, two mills, infantry weapons, um, stability, uh, and we get a bit of a construction bonus. I would like to make the executive decision to just be like, yeah, can we just go full military? So look at the buffs here. If we focus on retaking our on retaking our rightful homeland, our precious Romania, we get division recovery rate and attack, our big attack and recovery rates. Um, whereas if we go down the uh, preparation is key, we get we only get like uh, construction advantages, um, and we get uh, decryption, which means I would have to build a freaking agency to decrypt them. Uh, we also brought we like hijacked their radio. And then we also get a bit, we get a tiny bonus for when we want to attack them, I guess. Carol II becomes new Genghis Khan. There is no more global warming thanks to him killing 1 billion people. Sheesh. So yeah, prior to, I'm going to go priority number one. We want to retake our country. That's all that matters to us. Carol II looks longingly at his precious color yellow. He wants it back. Nothing will stop him. I, I do often find it like interesting. Like, why do they pick certain colors for certain countries in um in in Hoi Four and in, in Kaiserag? Because I guess like yellow is like, just the most pronounced color on the Romanian flag, right? It's just, it's the yellow in the middle, right? But Banat had a, a a red flag to begin with, so why was it orange? It's all very interesting. All very interesting indeed. Okay, what the fuck is going- Okay, speaking about fucking, um, King Genghis Khan, what's going on over here? Bag Bogd Khan of the Mongolian Khanate is doing some fucking shit. I don't know, man. What the fuck is happening over here? Nasi Shah of the- Of the Kumul Khanate is- Is having a big war. And the Turkestan Khanate- The Muhammad Alim Khan is- They're all fucking fighting over who wants to be the next Mongolian ruler, I guess. I don't know. Yellow for riches. It's blood mixed with gold. Oh god, that's edgy as fuck. I love it. Okay, not that we will ever have a navy, but I guess we'll do navy experience. Go up. Yo, the American Civil War happened! Get wrecked, losers. Oh my god, the American Civil War begins. Uh, we don't care. Get out of here. Oh no, America, you're not looking so good, buddy. 
Wasn't banana blue, blue before? No, it was um, it was it was it was orange. It was always orange, James. Who wins? We we don't know who's gonna win the civil war until it happens, right? But yeah, we have the Pacific, we have the Western Command Center, which is under the control of the United States, with the Union State, with the Constitutional American Republic, uh, we have the Combined Syndicalist of America, and we also have New England. Hey, what about our anthem? What do you mean? I hope the Republicans lose. I don't think there's too many Republicans over here, HM. Hey, let me let me look for you. So New England kind of just joins the Entente and goes part of uh, uh, Canada, England stuff. We have Douglas MacArthur, who's kind of doing a military fucking coup over here. Um, we have this guy. This guy's... Okay, this guy's Republican. This guy's fucked up. This William H. Murray. I think they're, like, hella racist. Uh, we have uh, William Haywood and, the, and the, the communists, pretty much. The socialists. We have Huey Long doing the Union States. I mean, they're fairly Republican. I guess this is more the actual Republican Party, right? Where this guy is just far right and fucked up. Uh, the Western Command Center, which is underneath uh, Douglas, uh, run by Osma Bradley. Um, again, I think it's just more of a military coup. And then we have the Pacific State. One day I would really love to stream a Pacific States of America playthrough because um, I'll just quickly show you guys down here. Where are they? Where are they? So, um, so um, you can get a certain man by the name of Howard Hughes in, in, in power. And, uh, his focus tree is called The House Always Wins. And he, uh, focuses on expanding the influence of, uh, Las Vegas. So, um, you know, there you go. But you can also get fucking Walt Disney in power as well. So that's kind of hype too. You can get fucking Walt Disney. That's right. Walt Disney, the creator of Disney. You can get him in power too. Pacific States is hype. I think you can also get Frank Sinatra as, as... <coughs> Frank Sinatra, the singer. The famous singer, you can get him in, in charge of America somehow, somewhere. I, I, yeah, it's, it's crazy. That's why I love Redux so much, man. Um, okay, I need to change my goddamn, um, chat thing again. Because now, chat is blocking my other chat, and that bugs me. Okay. Um, the American, uh, Civil War only stopped before it happened once. The communists, my friends, bring slavery back then, probably. Oh, God. I wish they'd bring back slavery. What the fuck? He can go to Panama. Oh, yeah. Huey Long can go to Panama. He can. Very pogus. Who the fuck is Howard Hughes? Howard Hughes is the inspiration for Mr. House from Fallout New Vegas. And also a crazy, epic businessman. They ain't my Robert House for real. Damn. Howard Hughes is IRL House somehow. I would kill uh, for Walt Disney invading fucking Congo for Oprah. Also, have you seen the Mississippi thing in the Union State? Um, you are going to be denied. I've not seen the Mississippi thing in the Union State. Is that, is that, I know there's like, um, you can create like a, this is, this is not me being fucked up. This is what it's called. You can create like a black republic, right? Which is pretty cool. Like the black, I think it's called the Black Belt Republic. Is, is that, is that connected to what you're talking about, James? I, th I think that's stuff I've seen. So please do not make the tanks have mini mouse skin. <laughs> That'd be pretty base though. Okay, cool. So we that gave us a bunch more mills. Uh, not that it matters. Well, we do need guns right now, so it is actually helpful. Um, we don't need to get this yet because we aren't, you know, um, attacking anybody yet. Um, even more mills and sieves. Yeah, this looks good. We already have so much. Okay, no, it gives us. Okay. Operate in the homeland. Under, undercover mon monogamous. Oh. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, soul, soul Gamer. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I am the mailman. You can call me mail. And I hope you're having a good day, evening, morning, or night, wherever and whenever in the world you are. Tonight we're playing some Hearts of Iron 4, Hoi 4. And we are playing the Kaiser Redux mod. And we're playing as the small little tiny baby nation of Banat. Which um, gets formed if you start as Hungary. And uh, we are reclaiming our birthright. We are reclaiming our kingdom of Romania as Carol II, king in exile. So, yeah. Um, thank you so much for the follow again. It means a lot. I hope you do enjoy your time here. Um, imagine Walt Disney pulls out a fucking Glockinator or a Disney themed gun and the fucking president of the Republic of Congo. Sheesh! It's light blue and IDK had to do it. Light blue. Oh, the um, the Mississippi thing. Yeah. That was like a fairly recent update, like, like six, eight months ago, I think. 
Okay, where is No No Mustache Man? Okay, HM, I'm very glad that you um asked the lore of um of Mustache Man in this game. So in Kaiser Reich, which um is like the predecessor to Kaiser Redux, it's the basis of the actual lore of this game of this mod. I mean, um the mod is Kaiser Redux. It's it's in the title uh, Soul Gamer. Kaiser Redux. Bam. So. Mustache Man, what happened with Mustache Man in this timeline is basically because Germany never lost World War One, Mustache Man never got famous or popular um, or anything like that because Germany was hype. Everybody loves Germany in this timeline because they won the First World War. See, Wilhelm II is still in charge. He's still in power. So there was no movement for Mustache Man to get in power. So what ended up happening was Mustache Man went to the Russian Republic. And they had a big civil war, as Russia always inevitably does. They always need to have a big fucking civil war. And for some reason, Mustache Man decided, Oh, this little new thing, kind of like communism, seems pretty cool. And so he joined the side of uh, the communists. Or the, in this case, it was the, the syndicalists. Uh, t you know, I'm not really that good on the on the political ideologies of this world. But yeah, it's close, close enough. And Hitler, the only other thing uh, we know about Mustache Man, I like how I just said his name by accident just then, but that's fine. The only other thing we know is that instead of writing Mein Kampf, he wrote a book. So Mein Kampf means my struggle, but instead of writing that book, he wrote a book called Our Struggle. And he's talking about, you know, the plague of the working class and shit like that. And then I'm pretty sure he just died. He just got shot and died somewhere in Russia. But anyway, that used to be old law, but now they said it's not canon, but we don't know anything else about him. So I like to just think that that is what happened to Mustache Man. He fucking wrote a book called Our Struggle and then died somewhere. The end. It's in Huey Long area. Ah. Praise the soul. Man. Yeah. Where the fuck is the real politics? Sorry, I didn't notice this was a mod. It's all good, Soul Gamer. No worries. Like, where the fuck is NCR versus Caesar's Legion? This game sucks. HM, there is literally a game mode that turns it into Fallout, my guy. Zero out of ten. Would, n would no play it even if I was paid. Who the fuck said anything about Hitler? I was talking about uh, Stalin, bro. God damn it. God damn it, HM. I hate that you bamboozled me. Well, you can actually get uh, Stalin in power if you play as Georgia. You can play as Georgia and you can... Um, where is it? Where is it? I think it's this one. Here he is. Jugashvil. Jugashvil. Uh, you bet Koba Jugashvil. Uh, can come into power of Georgia. So there you go. He is a person that can get into power. He is still around doing stuff. That 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 mustache man. How does it feel? Then what? How does what feel? Um. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is what we were going to do. Um. We get a mill and two sieves. We also get some war support. That not that we need, but we can fuck up Romania, the Iron Guard, a little bit. And a couple of monarchists in ritual Romania have been uh, prowling the streets of legionary uh, Romania for years, albeit aimlessly. Now, as we have legitimate power, we can give these agents an aim and a task to put their skills to good use while sending our own agents. So there we go. NCR versus the TCOA. Well, the TCOA is like way fucking bigger. They own like all of Europe is. I was playing vanilla before going in. Well, I hope that's going well for you, uh, Soul Gamer. I, I still love like vanilla, but when I'm streaming, I usually are in the stream mods. Now you are bamboozled. Well, see, my mind always goes to the really bad mustache man when someone mentions the mustache man. It's just, I don't know. He's the more memorable one. Because he did more fucked up things, kind of, technically, slightly. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for the new expansion that's coming out soon. The DLC Soul Gamer. So, that should be good. That should be fun. Uh, it gives a lot more flavor to the Scandinavian countries. Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Do you know the Mustache Man? The Mustache Man? Oh, what do we have here? No, I don't need stability. We are fine. We'll get stability in our focus tree, so I'm not worried about it too much. And yeah, slowly build our industry up. Please tell me we have a sieve. We still do not have a single fucking sieve, man. This is insane. It's 37, my guy. But we have a bunch of mills, Lamau. The Don Republic... Some weird shit is happening here in the, the Caucasus region of, of Russia, Europe. Stalin? Funny Austri Austrian pa painter man? Yes, well, both are funny mustache men. Go invade Romania. No skill issue here. Well, yeah, just go kill them easy, bro. Nothing bad will ever happen. Okay, and we're doing grand battle plan. Easy peasy.
Lol, we don't even have a single freaking division yet, by the way. Okay, Austrian Painter versus OG Wife Beater. What the fuck? Are you going to try Pan Europa? Um, I'm not Germany, James. I can't do that. You can only do that as German Empire. I will I will try and um, realize the dream of Carol II and create a great a, a, Ro a greater Romania. That's what he wants to make. Fuck it, Carol II is a general now. He probably will be a general. <clears throat> but yeah, this focus will give us a bunch of troops, so we'll be we'll be fine. There we go. Thank God. Please start working on an artillery. We don't even need that much artillery. We don't even need that much. Yeah, we only need 68 for the for the support. So, um, I just need some sieves so I can trade. I need a, I need a trade sieve so I can um, um, bloody well make some actual guns quickly. It's fine. We still have plenty of time. We still have like a year or two before I would want to go to war. Bum, bum, bum. This will give us two sieves, so maybe it'll be good. Right, majority of the script. What, what script are you writing, HM? Bam, bam, bam. Okay, uh, oh god, that, let's ignore that yet. Um, I'm experienced manpower. Two infantry and three militia. A contingent of monarchs will assist us under our name in the eventual event of the final struggle. We get one off-map military. Um... Assistance from foreigners. There are foreigners abroad more experienced than us, so let us use our resources to invite them to train the exiled armies so that they can be prepared for the eventual retaking of their birthright. Fucking let's go. Gets picked for the lead in that script. That fucking script has the most lines for a roleplay. What the fuck? Me when ex Romanian anthem plays. I will play that myself, personally. Oh god, they joined the Belgrade Pact. That means the, the war against Bulgaria is about to happen. The Belgrade Pact is a is a mini alliance that forms between Serbia and its uh, neighbors to retake Bulgaria. Pretty sure no mustache man can beat you with the mind come buff near. What the? F and Spain, as always, is in pain. Why did you mention mind come? Well, that's the book that he wrote. Yeah, Spanish Civil War. There it is. There's, there's pain. Ooh, it's a three-way war. Sometimes I don't see the three-way war. Have the Balkan and Redux war never happened? It can happen. It, it, I mean, it cannot happen. It's definitely possible for it to not happen. What the fuck is Carlos Spain? There's some cringe-ass, like, monarchy movement. But they're, they're, like, their logic is, like, from 400 years ago. I don't know. He's like, um, actually, the real monarchy should have been born from the line of 400 years ago. It's like, shut the fuck up, bro. Yeah, but Ace, no, I, we had to mention Mein Kampf before because Hitler wrote a book, Our Struggle, in this law instead, instead of My Struggle. Like, it's fucking Cars 1 to 3 and set in that fucking country. <laughs> cars? Lamau. No, it's just like a certain, like, royal government thing. I don't know. I don't know Spain, Spain history, man. Okay, the real question is, how does Cars elect its Pope? I, they all vote, I guess? I don't know. Is Switching to Bunku if you keep saying the angry German man name? No, hell no. I just try not to be super crazy and edgy, right? They don't bonk you for that. They only bonk you if you're fucked up and, like, you know, you know, trying to justify him and stuff, right? But if you're just talking about it in a historical context, it's fine. You'll be fine. I do hope some of the, um, Hungary, uh, some of the Austrian Empire constituents, like, have a civil war. Because we need Austria to be fucked up for us to go fight Hungary. Don't watch it on stream, save it for later. Okay, okay, trust me. Shoot yourself with a shotgun, get you bonged. Yeah, you don't say long. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Assistance from foreigners. Yay! We actually have a freaking army now. 
Um, what is their, uh, division? It's this, it's a nine, and it's a militia, okay? Um, I don't want any of that. I want you to make the division that I like. Bam. Coolio. And who's gonna be our military general? One, two, two, three. Artillery attack. No, it, no he has no attack, like, at all, really, but... Mm, we're gonna pick him, because he has the best stats still. And then Albert Bartha is still around. He is going to be the, um... This is a general. What do you call the not general? Field Marshal, that's it. And then we want to do a frontline border with Romania. And you guys need to all start training. Don't even bother checking it. Trust me, bro. What the fuck? Is him drunk today? I wish. Sadly, I'm a server Lamar. James, I think he used World War II era meth. It's running big nut. I don't know how to say it's forever sleep. Okay, now, th this is where we have to make a fucked up choice. We can either ask Bulgaria for help or Hungary to help us. And, which is like, not good because we, we will be going to war with one, with, uh, with both of them later on, okay? Um, I think the problem with Bulgaria is that like, yeah, but, uh, Hungary is stronger, but is more likely to deny. Bulgaria is a little weaker, but is more likely to accept, except if they embroiled in war. So I think if we ask Bulgaria right now to help us, we they might say yes, because uh, the, the Balkan War hasn't started yet. So that's what I'm going to hope for. Pov Mayo chooses to be German. I would like to do German Empire at some point. They are really hard, though. They are really annoying to, to manage. <laughs> Because of Black Monday and all the crazy stuff that goes on with that. Uh, like, you can have a communist civil war and it's fucked up. I'm going to go for Bulgaria. Because I think we 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 hate Hungarians more than we hate the Bulgarians. <laughs> Throws the mailman at the bike. Oh, God. It might be of interest while we are here to ask for help from the Bulgarians. We know that they know that the Iron Guard wants their territory. So perhaps by our, stati by our status as government in exile, we'll be able to consensually siphon some of their resources from them in order to further our own war effort. Bam. I'm not going to play Roblox. I'm not going to play Roblox Hoi 4. There's also Minecraft Hoi 4 as well. Can confirm the famous chemist Heisenberg actually formulated his product for me. Uh, for an exchange of a deluxe NBA basketball card mystery box, 100 times official NBA cards, 10 times Hall of Famers, 10 rookies, 1 Legion or LeBron or Jordan, 4 times autograph or relic cards guaranteed by Cosmic Gaming Collections. Interesting, HM. <laughs> Very interesting. Do we have a sieve now? We still do not have a sieve. Insane. The Balkans, it's cats slapping each other for keebles. Yeah, literally. Pretty much. Yeah. But we are making a lot of guns right now. We will need to make some trucks. Because I wouldn't actually have supply in this game for the love of God. Supply is good. I like supply. Um, so nothing to... I guess we didn't do production efficiency. None of this really matters. Oh, we should have done the upgrade for artillery. It's fine. We have plenty of time. But yeah, um, I don't really need to make my, my wits too, too high. We have a decent amount of... um. Uh, population. So I want to just try and get out as many infantry as I can for the time being. I don't want to make them like too uh, buff. Um, the only thing that would matter is maybe if I'd made it a 20 width and then it's slightly better. There we go. So we can put some uh, things on you guys, which is what I'm going to do. There we go. Artillery, yeah, me as well. There we go. But Nat builds the first nuke, lol. I have no idea what a unit is saying, but hello, unit. <laughs> Imagine that. We could actually do that, lol, unironically. But Nat could rush the first nuke. That'd be so silly, though. No, -uh, I bribed him first a little echo. Okay. Okay, 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 hey, Jim. <laughs> oh, Erica. I know you... Do People like the Erica song, right? The German song. Unit, why are you speaking pretzel? Erica, some chumper noises. Yeah, everybody likes that song for some reason. Can I turn the music up a little bit without being bonked, without it being too loud? Oh my god. 
Phone it up a little bit and it fucking goes like crazy. Okay, that's already too loud. That's okay. You could not. Erica is just a song about a flower. Interesting, interesting. About a woman. <laughs> also, look, unit. It's your country. Look, look. It's it's Bohemia. It's uh, look here. It is. It's Moravia. It's Moravia. Where do you live, unit? Can you see where you live? Can you see where you live? It's Moravia. There you go. Please tell me that's another sieve. Oh my god, we have one sieve. Thank fucking Christ. We need, we need to trade, like, pretty much all of it. Um, no, I guess we'll trade against the Germans, because I kind of like the Germans. They're alright. They're not gonna, like, hurt... They're not gonna hurt us later on, I don't think. Wait, do they not have anything that we can... Oh, because we only have one still. Yeah, 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 that's fine. I'll give you the lyrics. The yellow part is where I live. The yellow part, all of it's yellow. Oh, oh, the one that I clicked on? Ah, oh, okay. I see. Uh, quick, send some missiles on that area. What the fuck? You shut up or you feel power of communism? Oh, no. Oh, God. Hello, night night round. Hello, I hope you're doing well. I'm the mailman. You can call me mail and I hope you're having a good day, evening, morning, or night, wherever and whenever in the world you are. So now we're playing some Hoi 4. We're playing the Kaiser Redux mod and we're playing as the little tiny baby nation as Banat. We have gotten the um, Romanian royal family, King Carol II, uh, in power. And we are going to reclaim our birthright. We will retake our Romania and put the true king in charge. Benat builds a, a biped vehicle with nuclear artillery named Metal Geet. <laughs> Bob, Israel is allies of funny German. I don't think Israel exists. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did they go to war already? Oh, God. They're going to say no to us. Well, Gary's going to fucking say no to us, man. Um, fuel these missiles, but where do you live on there? Where do I live on there? Vichu is the cool thing. How does it sync up? Do you have a camera so that, uh, on you that it translates? Yeah, Vichu, that's how VTuber works. All it is is you make a 3D model, like a model that you would, like, could be in a video game, and you have a camera, and, and, and the model has just tracking points, and then, wow, I can do this in the real life, and it does it on the screen, and wow, 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 wow. Um, where do I live? I live somewhere here. Somewhere here. I'm not gonna say where. I live somewhere here. I live somewhere here. I'm not gonna- I'm not doxing myself, but I can say I live somewhere here. Some- somewhere here, guys. Uh, I- I live here, actually. I live- I live right here. This is where I live. <laughs> this is where I live in Australia, guys. You never want to live here. <laughs> Don't ever live here. This is... We make fun of the people that live there. Uh, mailman wears tracking spots everywhere. Be like, ooh, funny. No, that's it's, that's not how it works. <gasps> okay, Bulgaria might help us. Okay, Bulgaria might help us, which is kind of fucking crazy. Um, next avatar is going to look like a 40-year-old veteran with a beard and long hair. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Uh, the YouTube comment section sucks. It does. Okay, what has happened to my shitty-ass country? Wait, oh, you want to see what's going on with America? Um, nothing. They're, oh, yeah, nothing. The Pacific is kind of winning. The Union is also getting pretty big. So there you go. The Sardom of Bulgaria has offered us an alliance. Uh, we both share friendly monarchies and are united in our common enemy, the Iron Guard regime. Kodrono has been a vocal opponent in Bulgaria. His anti-Bulgarian rhetoric naturally aligns us with the Bulgarians. However, many still remember the bitter defeat at the hand of the Sars soldiers. We kind of have to say yes. Nah, bro, I'm American. Where are you from, HM? What the fuck? I always thought you were American. Am I crazy? I guess I'm insane. My apologies. Are you going to are you going for a wacky path? I always think of Kaiser Redux as a wild world. Um, so this is less wacky. But this country never existed, really. It was only formed after the collapse of the Austro-Hungarian Empire in 1918. And it's just called... It's just Benat. And then we got the... We got the royal family of Romania in charge. And now we're going to go fight the evil... The evil Iron Guard who has taken control of Romania. Mr. Beast for Mailman, what the fuck? Um, so yeah, we kind of just have to say yes. We would, we will go into a, yeah, into alliance. Stability, political power, manpower, we guarantee them. 
Uh, we also give them military access. They lose political power, manpower. They also give us a thousand infantry. Um, and they guarantee us. Cool. And we can go into their country as well. Now, thankfully, they're not going to drag us into their war. So we can kind of just sit back and be like, Yeah, sorry, Mr. Ferdinand I, who's kind of fucked up and evil. Yeah, you're just going to have to deal with your own little war right now. Um, what are the following? All of the following. We're allied with Bulgaria. No, Bulgaria's not at peace! Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, no, really? Uh, I'm gonna reload that, because we can't really do much with it. Did you start as Romania and release them, or what? No, you have to start as Hungary, and then as Hungary, uh, you need to shoot the Romanians... Yeah, and, then, and then, and uh, then Hungary and Austria will go to war with Romania, and that will. You can't. Keep I'm sorry. I, it's Romania. not my fault. I shot the Romanians. It's Hungary's fault. Blame Hungary. And then, and then that releases bananas in the whole country. You can't keep getting away with it. You know, please explain why you're speaking baguette. Baguette. Okay. Okay. So I guess we'll do Hungary first now, because I can't. I can't like do it any quicker. I. I mm, the only other thing maybe is like. We do these ones first. I don't know. Plea to Hungary. With, with while the original Banat may have seceded from Hungary, we are most definitely much less of a danger to the Hungarians than that than the Iron Guard. We could convince the Hungarians to send us aid in the event of a war. If we do manage to secure a shipment of equipment, it will likely be large in quantity. See, I don't think this is even going to happen. Like, I don't think we're going to be able to get this. Like, they're going to agree, unfortunately. Male th speaks us French. A wee wee baguette. That's the only French I know. Sadly. It's unfortunate. I, I, I don't know any language except weeaboo Japanese. Konnichiwa, hajimamashita, bakuwa, mail des. Niju san des, dozo yoshiku. That's like literally just means like, hello. I'm the mailman. I'm male. I'm 23. Nice to meet you. <laughs> That's all it means. Uh, cringe. Yeah, fair enough. Some German now. What are you talking about? Ooh, truck. Okay, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I remember now. I remember now. Okay, well, we are back in time. We are back in time, yes. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, actually, do artillery now. Learn from anime or do classes? From the anime. Okay, no, I did. I, okay, no. The, the thing I just said then was like, I learned that back in school when I did classes, yeah. Hon, 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 hon. Time to become one with the baguette. Unit, do not a baguette. <laughs> do not do a baguette. That is the most evil thing you could possibly ever do. So, yeah, Bulgaria, I don't think is going to help us very well. Because, like, yeah, they are going to be at war um, with, like, three different countries. And we can't even have them help us if we go to war with Romania. But I also don't think Hungary is going to help us. Which means we're probably not going to get this event. Which gives us the buff, sadly. Uh, unironically, I think you can actually get help from both of them, which is, like, cursed. Because they're both your enemies. Ace committed very lots of bad crimes. Like, war crimes. Yeah, I believe it. Only thing I, uh, I have a problem with Kaiser Redux is I sure as fucking wish the game ran a little quicker. But it is what it is. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. Do you get population boosts or eventually Romanian cores? You you get cores on all of Romania, yeah. Um, you you will get cores on pretty much. Uh, you you can form Greater Romania, which is the goal of this playthrough right now, which is like pretty much half of Hungary and then uh, Bulgaria as well. Which uh, I don't want to spoil the focus tree, but it's uh it's down here, Greater Romania, baby. Kaiser Redux is way too slow for me. I like to play a lot of the paths, but game runs so awfully. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't think it would run this slowly. I think it's because I'm streaming the game that it's running this badly, honestly. Because I didn't take that into consideration. But it's fine. It's fine. We're just getting through Focus 3s. It's all good. Oh, did we not? Oh, we, we have a new troop. Yay! We have a new guy. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay. And then I wanted to... I didn't fix this up this time. That's okay. Uh, 20 width. I don't think we can afford any more artillery than what we are currently producing, so I'm not going to add it, uh, 
um, artillery to this. I'm just going to keep it as infantry. Today we steal the Romania. My Benashian minions. Uh, so, do we have ACIV? We do have ACIV, okay. okay. No, I don't really want to trade with these guys, though. Like, that's kind of fucked up. Um, Russia? I'll trade with Russia, why not? Okay, now is Hungary going to be nice to us or no? Please, Hungary. I'm just a little poor baby boy. Please, Hungary, give me some guns. I will be nice to you. They don't like us at all. Please, Hungary, I will be nice. I will not backstab you and kill you later on in the game. Please, Hungary. Please listen to me. I'm such a nice boy. I love Hungary. I've never said anything bad about Hungary ever in my entire life. I love Hungary. It is my favorite nation in the Balkans. You are such cool people. Male, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. Any guys Redux paths you played that you'd recommend? Uh, I played so much. That's the problem. Okay, okay. Well, while they're still waffling on about that, I guess we'll build up our vicious assault tactics. The key to this upcoming war is fear. The Romanians might be extremist right-wingers, but that means nothing when we make examples out every last one of their so soldiers in a battle. But Nat will march onwards through any means possible. Uh, uh, anyway, wait, what? Through any means possible. Any. A any means possible. Okay. Um, so Serbia has... Um... What is Serbia's path? It's really fun. Serbia has a really cool path. I think it's... Um... The Black Hand. The Black Hand of Serbia is really cool. Albania has a bunch of really cool paths. New Papagas path. Yeah, about, uh, pretty much just pick any Albania path. They're great. Um, doing the Byzantine Republic as Greece is awesome. As Illyria, you can reform Yugoslavia. Um, da -da 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 I love doing the Don. The Don has a bunch of cool, fun paths. Um... Canada is really good, and then and then probably my favorite one is French National State, so yeah. I uh, can't tell if trolling or just Kaiser Redux is being Kaiser Redux. New Vegas, yeah. You know, do the no pret do know the pretzel. I uh, seriously so thinking of buying this, it looks like great strategy. It is very good. I mean you have to be a big nerd into maps and history, but it's good. I think Hungary just denied us. I think Hungary is ignoring us. Yeah, I think Hungary just fucking ignored us, guys. Damn. Well, not much I can do now, I suppose. Brazil? I haven't played as Brazil, actually. Maps history, pretty much. I hear a lot of love for France, National say. What's so good about it? Fun paths? Um, it's literally like the, the most insane focus tree ever created in a mod ever. I can't click on the goddamn... There it is. It's literally the most insane focus tree ever created. Okay. You know what? What happens if I just go save? Save. I'm probably going to reload this anyway. God damn it. Yo, it's Walt Disney. Look, it's the Mickey Mouse Walt Disney man. He's right there. I like how this is showing a bunch of presidential candidates and Mickey Mouse is there. It's like, yes, I would like Mickey Mouse to run for president. God damn a loading screen, please don't take so long. I, I want to show French national state because of how good it, good it is. There it is. Cool. Single play, uh, new game. Uh, French, 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 French. There it is. Select like country, start. Romanian anthem go hard for no reason. <laughs> I never stopped the game just to show me, but if I do afraid. No, it's fine. So the reason why I couldn't just show you in game just then was because, um, uh, like, it, it, it cuts out the extra paths, like, when you're not doing, the, when you're already down another path that you can't go down. But anyway, so this is the full tree. I wanted to show this off because this, this tree is so freaking good, man. That's a focus tree and a half, baby. That's, that's insane. This tree is, like, goaded. This is an insane focus tree, man. Has any of you used to play this when the world goes to war, the first country that gets conquered every time? It is France, yes, of course. Um, so basically what's so good about this tree is there's so like 
it has like a starting tree, but like there's so many different options to pick for the starting tree. Now, my favorite one, the number one that I recommend is Napoleon. You can restore the house of Bonaparte and you can make a Napoleon's great great grandson become the ruler of the national French state. After that, once you finish beating the the commune of France, the cringe little oh, communists who have taken over France, you can then um, go down a path of conquest to restore the mighty French Empire, and you basically fucking here it is, Viva la Empera, and you basically fucking take over like most of the world, all of Europe anyway. It's insane. Um, I remember a news reporter as a stadium and someone pulled a fucking lion pup. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, that is insane. Okay, I've got to play them next. Yeah, no, French National State is fantastic. Also, how do you know? What is Australia's tech, cre tech tree if it has one? So this is a mod, by the way, uh, G4 Man. So this isn't like the base game or anything. Um, I, I don't know Australia's tech tree. I can't really show the tech tree, but they're focused. I will say Australia is always boring. Australia, to play as Australia is so boring. Nothing ever happens, sadly. You can't do anything with Australia. Ish, worsh, worsh. I don't know what you guys are saying. Can you just please keep it English, Lamar? Sounds like easy mode, lol. Yeah, Australia just does nothing. They just chill. No one attacks them, really. Just talking about the secrets of the universe, Lamar. Um, Japan will usually attack you, but you can just build up a big defense and you'll be fine. NGO. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna do this. Okay, uh, I think as we're having... Okay, as we're starting soon, I'm gonna quickly go have a break, uh, into the bathroom, so... Ba -da -da -da.
Hello, hello, hello. We are back. We are back. Uh, coffee and poop at the same time is power move. So, okay. So, no. That's just, like, what I say. I'm either having a bathroom break or a coffee break. I'm not having both at the same time, but that that is insane. Okay, so considering that uh, Bulgaria and Hungary both um, ignored us and denied um, uh, to help us in our reconquest of Romania, I've decided, fuck it. We don't need help. We are... We are the exiled government of the Romanian monarchy. We do not need help. We will fucking retake our own country back with our own two hands. And we will get our revenge on both of these baby boy countries when the time is right for denying for, de for denying any help whatsoever. As the CEO is the mailman, we've decided to leave that we uh, we will only receive a two dollar two fifty a coffee break to increase productivity. Two minute fifty? What the hell? Um it's not five minutes. Like, on the thing, it says five minutes, but it's, like, up to five minutes. Right then, that was only three minutes because it was uh, the ad break. The ad break's always three minutes, and that can never be lowered ever. I don't keep seeing memes of a template from the 1998 film named uh, With Wide Eyes Closed. I've never even heard that movie. I keep seeing new The Walking Dead TV show meme formats pop up. Now it's a new one where it's, like, Shane's about to, like, go fight, um... Uh, Herschel on the farm. It's always season two and season three memes, weirdly enough. And, and yeah, it's like never, it's never like after season three. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, I just realized the game wasn't freaking unpause. I'm dumb dumb. Okay, so yeah, once again, we need to do the freaking trucks and stuff. That's fine. Uh, also, can we please do one more infantry? There it is. <clears throat> Truck is there, so I'm making trucks. Okay, okay, okay. Do the artillery upgrade. Thank you. Um, fix this up because I don't like it being unorganized. Bam, bam, bam. There you go. Cool, um, you guys can get upgrades as well. I keep forgetting this. Every time I reload, I have to do this stuff again, but it's fine. Now, now this will be the, the, the commitment, because no, no country wants to help poor us. I only know there are many people with strange masks. It looks really cool, never seen it. Oh. We also decided that we shall no longer fund our coffee stock within the pantry, again, to increase productivity. What the hell? So you can have a coffee break, but you can't have any coffee. It defeats the purpose of a coffee break. I haven't had any coffee break yet. I haven't had any coffee today. Um, because I usually will have it really later when, when I'm streaming, so I can keep streaming. <laughs> okay. You'll have to get your own. Oh, no. Well, I, I do have my own coffee. Jerks on you, HM. <laughs> Obviously, I have my own coffee. Oh, thank you so much for the bits, you know. We are not gonna... Two mi okay, we Unit can watch underscore that. V underscore 2004 cheered. X30. Okay. So please bring your own Gamer Subs titty milk flavor. We can't buy more supplies of it. There is indeed flavors of Gamer Subs that, that's like that, right? They're all the VTuber girls as well, I think. Hide bookmarks bar. New private window. I guess, I guess this is the perfect game to watch videos, I just realized. Because we're waiting for focus trees to complete, right? So it makes sense. Okay, okay, okay. So thank you very much for the bits and the video unit. And it's uh, it's aptly fitting. It's aptly fitting. Um, because it's literally uh, World War based. Bam. 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 Should probably don't make it that big now that I realized. Oh, no, don't do that. Here it is. There we go. There we go. That works. Um... It's the uh, owner's flavor, j -Stat. Oh, God. Okay, you shut up, Union of Britain. Okay, I think the Union of Britain just killed Ireland. Oof, that's cursed. Mute the game? No. Okay, I can mute the game. I can't mute the game! I can't mute the game unit! I can't do that. I literally can't do it. It takes too long. Okay, this is where we can't watch videos, because this takes too long. I can do that. I can do that, but every time I need to do a video, it will I'll have to do that over and over again. And it's annoying. But here's, here's a video. Okay, I was gonna say nothing was playing. Yo, USSR, big bad. This, so yeah, this is the Winter War, I guess. Give your play or show the ISA our play. World Circle World War Two, USSR was big and evil, and they wanted to fight Fran uh, fight Finland. 
uh, because Finland had a bunch of territory that they were And, uh, USSR notoriously got kind of fucked up by them. Merkeles! Finlandia, Finlandia, sinne taas matkalla oli ihan. Damn, Finland fucking, fucking them up. Kaikki harusi. Coffee mug and a death shirt up. Sydän marusi. Miet molotov, miet molotov. And that takes some gonna work, my guy. Oh, there's, yep, there's a USSR theme. When you score that. Blitzkrieg Finland? It didn't happen. Oh, and then Finland's fine. No, my god. Whoa, what is this, a deer? Okay, that's it. Well, Oh. Okay, good for you, USSR. Good for you, buddy. They barely won. They barely won that. They, they did seize the territory, but it was like... They had so much casualties losing the Finland. Insane. Well, there you go. Speaking about casualties, there you go. Oh. Earlier. Cough, cough, white death, fucking them over, even in death, yeah, pretty much. Alright, there you go. The very, very aptly fitting video. Thank you very much, unit. Um, Finland has some pretty good, uh, focus trees in, um, uh, well, it's soon in the base game, because, uh, the DLC is coming out. No, no, don't do that. Please, love God, do not do that. Game options, audio. There we go. Um, but in Kaiser Redux, they have a really good tree. Yeah, 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 you're all fighting Bulgaria. I don't care, man. Yeah, Finland. Finland's just chilling off here. Oh my God, we're not watching another video unit. We're gonna play the game. But thank you. I'll I'll, I'll watch it later. The underscore two thousand. I'll watch it later. Cheered. X twenty. Nam war oh God. Um, that man survived an explosive fifty cow shot to the face. Insane. You can't say no to America. It's not Rick Roll. It's not Rick Roll. If you do, they yeet yo. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, unit, fine. I get the money. I get the money. It's a minute. It's a minute long video. But I'm not muting the game this time. Get wrecked. Oh, why did that not work? What? There we go. I will make it full screen though. That's what I will do. I don't like that it's not full screen. Uh, who cares? None speaks there anyways. <laughs> yep. Carbon bomb. As they usually do. Damn, they got mini crit. America, it's not gonna happen. America, give up, bro. Bit out more, but worse. Oh no, Vietnamese in the trees. Wow. It's not gonna happen, America. You don't, you don't got this one. Sorry. Standing here, I realize. Damn. America got one shot. Yeah, USSR loved you. America died. America lost. And so-called Americans like to say that America didn't lose this war, bruh. They didn't lose it, huh? They didn't lose it, huh? Okay, okay. Focus three, focus three, focus three. We are going to do... 
Uh, the assets do not matter. We might be trying to retake Romania, but it is necessary that we burn down what relates to the Iron Guard's war efforts. Factories, offices, farms. Every last sympathizer of the Iron Guard will be burned just like their property. Cool, cool, cool. We're getting big uh, military buffs. Vicious soldiers. We'll have even more vicious soldiers. We will have the biggest, strongest attack ever. We are going to fuck up the Iron Guard for kicking the royal family out. Actually, General Patton wanted to invade China because they were hoping the North Vietnamese oofed. No, you don't. Now you, now you have to wait. Now you have to wait. Now you have to wait. I'll Unit bookmark underscore it. Unit underscore V underscore 2004 cheered. X20. Thank you. I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it up, but I'm not. I'm not watching it until until we get through your focus tree. Otherwise, we're gonna be here all night. Hoi for is such a long game. I can't. I can't keep pausing it. The only thing that I want to do tonight, at the very least, is retake Romania. That is. That is the plan. We could do a second stream where we create Greater Romania. We restore the honor and the full power of Romania. But but right now, I only want to do. I just want to take Romania. I'm the Lorax, I speak for the trees. For some fucking reason, they speak Vietnamese. <laughs> What's going on with America? Nothing. You were the one which promised reacting stream your problem. Yeah, well, I... But unit, unit, if I do a stream that's only reacting stream, and then I start the stream and nobody's there, you're not there, then I can't do the stream, unit. It won't work. It doesn't work. And uh, we also did do some reacting in the 24-hour stream. We watched uh, Epic Rap Battles of History. That's something that we did do. I guess we can get some air experience, not that it will help us at all, but... Angry German, Russian, Finnish, Polish noises? Bruh. That's just angry European noises. Every possible European minority. Oh, no, we don't need chrome. Why did I do chromium? I don't want chromium. I want this. Russia ain't Europe, but don't tell them, lol. Well, they, yeah, yeah they're Euro-Asia, right? Because, they, well, they, they are in two continents. They're in Europe and Asia, technically. Okay, here we go. We're going to have a recovery rate and attack rate. By the way, attacking right now while Romania is, like, in a war against Bulgaria will be really good. But we don't have, the like, the manpower to be able to do it, I don't think. Arts of Russia's, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, annex? Okay, we can't do the annex. What will help us down here? Land doctrine, truck and armor, infantry, a bunch of mills, uh, a quality farce. If you're not single style social democrat. Okay. No, I like that one. That one's that one's good. I think we're good to go down there. I don't think we can rush down to get that. What's gonna help us right now though? Um, you insulted all of my people, but yes. We need some sieves. We need some sieves, so I'm gonna do this. Infrastructure, ugh. With the little funds we do have, we have enough to construct public facilities. These facilities being schools, hospitals, and similar constructs that shall be erected from the ground up in infrastructure and foundation for the future economy. Okay. Um, are you not giving me any sieves? Give me some fucking sieves, man. Give me sieves. Oh, this gives me a bunch of steel right here. Okay, that'll, that'll work. Okay, that'll work. Oh, the Australians lost a war against a couple of birds. Not really real. It wasn't a real war. A real yes unit. Ace, invalid. Australians won the second EMU war. It wasn't a war. There was no real formal declaration of war. More of a genocide, Lamar. We killed a lot of emus, so we technically succeeded for both man and emu. They did not kill us. The emus did not kill Australians. We should probably start trying to form a somewhat of a front line. See, okay, the front line's going to be fairly easy, honestly. Like, push here to the capital, and then we can keep pushing forward, I guess, to some other cities if we need to take them. Pardon my question, but how the fuck can you lose to lunch? Yes, they're very dangerous. Uh, they outran our bullets. When we try to shoot the emus with our guns, they dodge them. Because they were too fast and agile. 
You didn't see the new EMU uh, PMCs, it could be mustard gas, uh, O and M sub Gs and LMGs. No, I did not see this. Maybe now we maybe now we uh, are on uh, even even fighting fields. <laughs> So are we good for reinforce? We are not good for reinforcements. We still need plenty of infantry and artillery. Okay, and steel mainly at this point. Playing base toy four, nice. I know. Are uh, we playing as Benass? A uh, little tiny region here, and we are going to reclaim uh, our homeland of uh, Romania. Okay, 38's not too bad to have the war. I don't want to have the war at 39. That would be crazy. Everybody gangster into the gas mask when Emu speaks German. <laughs> Get the MG3 or um, MG4 and shoot Emu and other animal that's dangerous to humans in Australia. <laughs> but Nat, I see you doing the... Bruh, what the fuck, Kevi? Calm down. Chill, chill, fam. Chill. Don't think you're allowed to say that. Hey, Kevi base. <laughs> No one really plays as Benat, but I think it's a dumb little, cool little nation. Oh, is that word problematic now? It is. If you describe someone as being that, then yeah, it is. That is Kemi. Kemi, you got the certified Romanian approval situ. <laughs> Shush. Okay, there we go. Some infrastructure. Give me a sieve, please. A sieve. Give me a sieve. For the love of God, man. I need a sieve. We get stability. Wow, sick. We actually don't have a lot of stability at all. A core ideal of the socialist theory is the raising of the tax. Not only is that theory flawed, it is a disaster. The only choice is to cut the tax instead to lead to a happier life. Stability goes up. I got the R word, bruh. Okay, um, there's really not much else I want to upgrade, I'll be honest. Um, I need, like, I start on the guns. <sighs> Breakthrough, defense, there we go. No, you got the Romanian slur, what the fuck, one time pub, what the fuck? You know, that's not it, please, can you guys calm down, you've been really edgy tonight, holy crap, man. He's being insane. <laughs> he ain't holding back. I, 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 not that I care. We are playing fucking Hoi Forward. It was an, it was bound to happen. Unfortunately, it's bound to happen when you're literally playing around with, you know, nationalist ideologies. Okay, it was funny. <laughs> is chat edgy today because of Hoi Forward? Yes, definitely. It definitely, definitely is. But that's okay. We just need we need sieves right now so we can we can just have steel so I can actually make guns. So then we can have an army. Once we have about 20, 20 units, then I'll be pretty happy. I love, after the R word just being Romania. Okay, that is kind of funny to be fair. Oh, then you have like up to thirty seven units. No, twenty is gonna be enough for us. We'll be fine. Bulgaria, hold as much as you can, please. Bulgaria, please. I mean, it's not, it's not war crime the first time. What the fuck? Anyways, low IQs decrease male spread while streaming anime games. What? I'm not playing anime game. I play anime games sometimes. Not all the time, you know? Only occasionally. Uh, we will be playing a uh, anime game, anim uh, uh, needy stream overload tomorrow night. We'll be uh, continuing to get all the endings, so that I, I look forward to that tomorrow. All Hoifoy players are femboy weebs, bruh. Can okay, we already had a Alex saying a Romanian legionnaire fascist being a hero? We don't need more. Yeah, that was that was kind of. I, to be fair, I don't know the history, so I'm not. I I, I thought I wasn't informed properly. <laughs> I could believe in, in some realm of possibility that Cartano is a, a man people like. 
Okay, cut the tax, and then here we go. Construction technology, political power goes down, that's fine. Uh, but consumer goods goes down, and a bunch of good stuff. The public exploits far too much business, leaving us unable to keep any of the dividends for ourselves. A few privatizations here and there will obtain us the funds we require, but at what cost? It's okay, Liam. History forgives chat. Uh, hi history forgives chat don't. What the hell? He was against communists, but he was a fascist. I think it makes the balance heavier on the evil side. <laughs> I'm a co-prosperity Chad hero. Forget Europe, damn. Asia for life. I really hope Kaiser Redux does a Japan rework at some point. Japan has such a crappy tree. I mean, the Chad path is pretty fun. BRB, all good paladin, no worries. Oh, we did it, guys. Guess what? My mom started watching Breaking Bad. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Paladin, you did it. Yippee. Oh, Austria and Hungary at war. That kind of helps us. Also, Slovenia. Oh my god, a lot of fucking dumb shit is happening right now. Okay. Slovenia has formed. Um, I guess just do this. No reason to, but do it. Japan be like, we invade China like World War II. There's this thing called patriotism. You don't understand. Russian soldiers during World War II were asked to fight communists. They didn't share ideology. Same goes for Romania. What? Man, Asia countries in general always gets forgotten in Hoi Pong ones. Yeah. I mean, Kaiser Redux has some decent trees for for some of them. But Japan specifically that hasn't had any upgrades. Like, there's a lot of good paths. Like, Mongolia has a really good tree. Far Eastern Republic uh, has a good tree. Tibet and Bhutan and Nepal, I think, have good trees, question mark? I, I don't know. They were asked by Germans to join them to fight against communism? Hmm. Good job, Bulgaria. Bulgaria's holding really well up in the north. That's the weird thing. You know what I'm saying? But the guy Alex said was a hero. He <laughs> killed <cute> in drive-bys. <laughs> Dropping Bloods gangbangers into Berlin. Wait, what the fuck happened? Wait, what? I've never seen this happen. Is this for, is this part of the new tree? Also, what the fuck's going on over here? What this looks like a glitch. Western Ukraine. What the fuck? And it's a part. It, it, they stole some of Galicia Lombardia. What? What the fuck is West Ukraine? This has to be some new stuff of the game that I've not seen. West the West Ukraine's People's Republic just popped up out of nowhere and they stole a bunch of stuff from Galicia. Hmm. I told her that the first episode was most inappropriate and not to let it pull her off. Fair, fair, fair. Churchill throwing up Crip Hand in front of the Reichstag. <laughs> okay. Sieves. Still no sieves. Ah, uh -huh. funny. That's okay. Whenever we want to, we can literally just click this button and we'll get in the next go war goal and then we can just go to war. Because I don't really want to rush all the way down. Oh, we could have rushed down here and get some steel, maybe. Might have been better. No, because we get a lot of steel right here. Okay. There it is. We have a country, a country fit for exploitation, for exploration, and for digging. The lands of Banat are undoubtedly rich in resources. All we have to do is dig the resources up in a endeavor that will cost us much time, uh, uh, cost us much time and even more money. Damn. West Ukraine is the west part of Ukraine. Yay, war. Yeah, wow, you don't say. It's the west part. <laughs> I want now uh, someone make an animation. Americans drive buying German soldiers with bars in a Jeep. <laughs> Have you heard of our Lord and Savior, Russian Badger? Work to do all good, Paladin, no worries. Hmm. Bulgaria, you don't look very good, my guy. It's so weird they held 
so much in the north. Yeah, Romania's got the fucking encirclement right here. If they can push it. If they can push this tower. I accept him as a lord and savior, don't worry. I just want a 1911 from a red lobster parking lot. Ask me anything. What the fuck? Wolfgang? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. Oh, they are Wolf Galicia? No, they're not. How did they get this then? What? Galicia is at war with Hungary? Okay. The Galicia now declared war on the Western Ukrainians people. Okay. Oh, God. I thought you bought lobster at the parking lot, which is weirder than buying 1911. <laughs> Mexico has joined the Entente. What's going on with Mexico and America right now, I wonder? Um, PSA, America and Union say are going to have one big fight. I think Union might win. Um, Mexico is just this guy. Okay, cool. Bulgaria, please hold on longer. There's nothing I can do, guys. I have like no reinforcements whatsoever. Um, yeah, artillery. Maybe we can um, do this. Cooking a fighting vid game video, but batching and saying like, what? he's cooking also the Musket Payday 2 video 100%. Okay, cool. They're all fully trained. Let's see how much trucks I'm gonna need. We need a bit of trucks. Actually, we should be alright with trucks, maybe. Hmm. I reckon we will be. Okay, um... How much steel was that? We only are missing one steel. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, 40, 40. <sighs> that's a lot, that's a lot. Or we could get consumer goods, stability, research speed. That's okay. Military... So war support. We don't need war support. We need stability. God damn it. Um, do we get stability at all down here? No, no one's giving me stability. What is this nonsense? Sieves and mill. We get some sieves here. Um. Oh, you give me five cents stability. Okay, let's take this. Education about economics. Every day something new is introduced to this world, economics included. People these days have little idea about how the economy works or how they should operate while living in Barna. A short mandatory school on education about the Venetian economy will solve all of these issues in time. Bam. Guys, we should raid Xenocap and use his 200 point CTS cough cough. What the fuck? I can't wait to see him costing his friends a, a thousand dollar bear because he plays it one hand. <laughs> Ooh, Illyria is fucking wrecking Austria. Jesus Christ. Um, Bulgaria is getting beat up. I'm surprised they're holding this tile so so easily. Well, not easily, but I'm surprised they're managing it. Today we steal Romania again. Yeah, well, right now I'm trying to make guns, and then we'll be able to do it. Right now we only have six we only have six divisions, which is not gonna take us far, unfortunately. Yeah. Cause nobody wanted to help us. It's possible we could ask for Bulgaria's help like after they've been beaten and they leave them alone leave them alone. But it's not gonna happen. We could have done this a lot sooner if Hungary or Bulgaria helped us, but unfortunately they didn't, so. Most normal history channel. Okay. Um, don't really need that, honestly. All things considered, I'll do radar. Rush the nuke mail. That's not gonna. We do not have the resources to do nuclear production. Long. <laughs> I wish. Imagine. We are nuking Romania, Hungary, Bulgaria, and Soviet. Long. Why would we nuke your our homeland that we want to retake? My God. What the fuck? That's fucked up, bro. We're gonna nuke the co we're gonna nuke our own country so we can take it from them. <laughs> Jesus! Holy fuck! Bro got no chill. Fuck it. 
Fuck it, we conquest four and out now, huh? Uh, the Great Trial. Okay, we still have a bunch of people being pumped out, right? Kind of. Um, yeah, only a few more uh, guns and artillery. Okay, if we get to 10 divisions, it's going to be fucky, but we can certainly see what happens. Um, Romania's going to be weakened after having to fight Bulgaria this much, so maybe? Maybe? Maybe we could? Maybe we could pull it off? 10 divisions is not a lot, though. Cough, mail, get cobalt, nukes, ASOP, I want IRL fallout, cough, cough. Build nuke bunkers, nuke whole world, then emerge after nuke to conquer. Okay, there we go. B Bulgaria got fucked up. Bulgaria got fucked up. Now, is it... Okay, so now we could technically ask Bulgaria for help after they've been beaten up, which is kind of funny. Uh, actual path in TNO. See, I've never played TNO because I don't like the look of it. Like, the 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 HUD, the, the UI, it's not to my liking, personally. I also don't like mods where they add so many extra, like, economic systems to it. It bugs me. You explain what Voltec did to Fallout the mouth. Voltec doesn't do any conquering, though. True, true, true. Okay. Now, please, Bulgaria. Please. For the love of fucking God, man. Bulgaria, please. Please. Do we have... Okay, we have another sieve. Okay. Um... We need a... We need a aluminium. Don't we only have, like, a little bit... Okay, no, yeah, we'll, we'll get the aluminium. Because when we go to war, we'll need it as well. Um, Portugal? Yeah, but Portugal, here you go. You can have a sieve. Yeah, yeah, take my sieve, bro. Take my sieve, buddy. Okay. Please, Bulgaria, just destroy thyself. It's okay. We will be fighting and killing um, Bulgaria at some point, but mail invade Switzerland. What the fuck? Lom, how do I get to Switzerland? What the fuck, bro? How do I get there? I'll have to go through Hungary, Austria... Bruh. What the fuck, man? Average Balkan daily convo. What the fuck, bruh? <laughs> okay. Bulgaria, please. Please. Bulgaria should usually be my friend and help us. And then we'll have two fronts. We'll have two fronts. We'll be okay. And we're not going to give any of Bulgaria's lands back because it's our land. We're just gonna say, fuck you, Bulgaria. You're, you're lucky I don't fucking kick your ass. For stealing my shit. Too accurate, Kemi. Are you spying on me? Burnett destroys Russia. Oh, God. I hope we never have to go against Russia. I, I, we, eventually, we could go fight Ukraine, but that's about it. Oh, no. I should not have mentioned that. Oh, no. Uh, don't worry, guys. We're not, we're not the other country that's going to war with Ukraine. Oh, no. Uh-oh. This looks awfully familiar. Oh, no. What happened here? What what the fuck happened here, man? Oh, God, I can't. There we go. Um, Who the fuck are you? Russian Socialist Republic by Maria Sprisinova. Okay. Okay, also, Romania just declared war on Hungary. Okay, we're fucking... We've got this now. Romania's fucked themselves over. The idiots. No, what's a certain guy who lives in Europe, ironically? Uh, Wait, what the fuck? Steel trade with German Empire was terminated because of lack of civilian- What the fuck?! Did, did Romania just steal my land for like 0. 0.2 seconds and then- Oh my god, Romania is doing more work than I am. Okay, oh god. Oh no. Um, okay, maybe I'm just gonna say this. Your face from Medigi is Hungarian. He is, and fucking Romania just took all of fucking Transylvania somehow. That looks like the USSR. It does indeed. Too close for just saying, wow, maybe told how I did a good job on this one. What the fuck, man? Um, did I get my sieves back? No, I did not get my sieves back. Wait, why do I not own this land? Control of the kingdom remain- Something weird just happened where I fucking- The game, like, crashed. Like, it not crashed. It fucking glitched out. It's saying I, I don't own this land anymore. No, I do- I do own this land now. Please tell me I can fucking- Do I have mills back? I think my fucking construction just stopped working as well. Which is kind of be it. Like I lost, I lost progress on my mills, which is not good. Okay. Um. Well, yeah, we definitely. Oh my god, we lost all the mills. No, no. Okay, just, just progress on them. Okay, steal, please, steal. 
I need steel, my guy. Please, steel. Okay. Okay, are we making guns? Do we have enough artillery? No, still not. Yeah, I'd rather be unique than be inbred royalty. This is going to be really fucky going up against Romania now. I really hope Bulgaria joins us. Because Romania just took half of fucking Hungary. The front line is going to be fucked up, man. I'm guessing this is what you were speaking about. What? Imbre, what do you think the maids lining the Imperial Palace is for? <laughs> well, fuck. I really hope Romania doesn't win the war against Hungary. Hungary's fucked up right now because they're fighting Austria and, and Romania right now. They're fighting so many people. I think Hungary's dead. We are going to have a, hard, a tough time defeating, Hungary, uh, defeating Romania if they take Hungarian land. No. Romania, please. How much divisions? 57. Oh. What happened? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This game... I've See, this is my problem with Kaiser Redux, is you could just be playing normally, and then some fucked up shit in the world happens, and you can't, like, fix it. It's like, well, now I think I've lost. I don't think I can do anything at all here. Because fucking Romania just has the biggest front line in the world now. Like, I didn't do anything to cause this to happen. Sir Mayo the Fourth, you should have invaded them before. I know, but I... Lom, I have eight divisions. It's not possible, my guy. Eight divisions isn't enough to invade. If I had done it any earlier, I would have died. I would have been easily very much killed. Please, hunk. Please, Re Bulgaria. You, I need my help. I need, I need your help. I need your help so much. Be my friend. You should have gotten nukes. <laughs> Lom, you can only get nukes, like, by 1945, my guy. It wouldn't have happened. Okay. Bulgaria, come on. Come on, buddy. <gasps> Extends it off. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Bam. Okay, we're good. We're set. We're set. We're set. And then we do this one. Um, We get a fucking... Okay. We're gonna do that one. Okay, we'll get the, 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 the war goal first. Wake up from the deep sleep, Romania. <laughs> Wake up, samurai. Um, against the legionary tyrant, German, Serbs, and Bulgarians will happily go to help us, and brave monarchists from the home will ha be here every minute. When our lion wakes up and then the wind starts blowing, the black gate will rust and wither. Let's wave our flags so that our land will shine, to remind them of who we are, to crush the Iron Guard. Begin the great patriotic war. So this will give us the war goal. Wake up from your deep sleep, it's a line from the most recent anthem. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Wake up from the deep sleep Romanian fighter against the legionary tyrant. Wake up, wake up, wake up Romania from your sleep deep. Deep sleep? Boris III is now in charge. That's okay. He's my friend, I think. Yes. Okay. Former enemies, now allies. Bulgaria will help us retake our homeland. It was four barbarians. The Mongols were. Oh. Uh, you know, deploy- yeah, 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 deploy the units. We are looking very good, we are looking very good. We have so much infantry being pumped out now, so we are- we are fantastic. We are- we will actually be able to fight this war now. Did the Mongols, uh, every fight Vlad- even fight the Vlad Impala? Wait the fuck up, Carol, we have Romania to nuke. <laughs> Oh, actually, wait, wait, why do you guys have a... No, delete this. No, no, not full battle line. Unit division. There we go. Cool. Yeah, cool. I was gonna say, why you guys got a border with Austria? We don't need to fight Austria. But we fucking definitely aren't ready to fight Austria now. Those were Turks. Or did you see his decorated fence and thought, yeah, nah, wolf, sham. I'd like to see a Mongol versus a Vladi army. <laughs> Romania had a lot of enemies. I had Mongol enemies for sure. Mm. Indeed, indeed. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, well now we actually have a decent army going, for the love of God. We have, yeah. Also, they're not even putting, uh, like, men on our borders. So, I don't know what the fuck's happening to them. Um, 
do we need guns? Okay, we can we can start working on this. Um, I'll wait till that one guy is finished training, and then I don't think I'm gonna train anymore. Because I want to get um, organization up for the start of the war. There we go. Stop training. Anybody else who joins can join, but they're not going to be fully trained. It's fine. Wait, actually, isn't Hungary technically Mongols? Ma Magyar? Yeah, that is true, actually, Kemi. Yeah. Um, Romania about to start 39 wars because they hate Turkey, Greece, Bulgaria, Hungary, Mongols, Russia. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, we can do artillery as well. Okay, okay. Wait, do we need to be at peace here? We ally with Bulgaria at peace, Bulgaria is at peace. Okay, so I need to be at peace. Okay, so we can't start the war yet anyway. We can't start the war yet anyway, or, or I can't do that focus. Mel, you need to cleanse Hungary now. Hungary's dead, my guys. Hungary fucking died, bro. Romania and Austria beat them up, bro. Hungary no longer exists. Wake the fuck up, Carol. We have the world to born. Lamel, as long as I probably uh, Chizovishki uh, when you talked about artillery. Lamel. I, I think the Romanian army looks hella weak, so we should be fine. Because they only have, like, four, like, three people up here. We could fucking, like, march into Bucharest with, like, very little, like, pushback. Okay, so we have that now, but we still need to do this. Uh, participate in a joint training exercise. Now that we have gained ourselves an ally, we should, convince, uh, should conduct... Wait, could we still ask Hungary? Even though Hungary is dead, we could still ask, Hey, do you want to do an alliance with us? Now that we've gained ourselves an ally, we should conduct training exercises with them to prepare our armies for the struggle against the Iron Guard. It will benefit both of us, especially us, due to our inferior size and population against the large Iron Guard. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We have the war goal ready to drop any time. We are pumping out a lot of guns. Uh, we also have uh, trucks, right? Yeah, we have trucks. And we have plenty of trucks to be able to, to do it. Ooh, are they getting scared? Ooh, they're getting scared because we have the war gold. No, they're running away in their little fucking horses, bro. Romania, why are you fielding horsemen? My face when they're waifu, even if they existed, still won't be like them because they get no pictures. Okay, this is where... It, okay, now they've put a, put themselves against the border. It would have been better if I did this one. No, because if I did this one first, I would have wasted like 40 days on the attack bonus. So it wouldn't have been good. Okay, we want this. Um, artillery? No, we just want regular infantry stuff. Org and recovery rate, or attack and defense. Uh, I think org and recovery rate is probably for the best. We have to pull a skull face. He was Hungarian canonically, but what if a former king scarred from a bomb uh, bombarding from Austria creates a lethal parasite? Oh god! What if Kaiser Redux is actually the timeline that Metal Gear starts? My god. I've reached enlightenment, Liam. What, really? Why did you reach enlightenment, HM? <laughs> now, Romania might also have a fucking um, air force, which we definitely don't have. We are pumping out as many guns as we can right now. Um, this looks fucked up. I don't know how we're going to do this. I really don't know how we're going to fucking do this, man. I want to play a skull face. Hell yeah. I'm very scared. There's no way we could have gotten, like, any divisions quicker, though. I discovered there's a huge chance that there are Rule 34 of email ex Liam. There is none. There is none of that HM. It doesn't exist. No one's drawn art in me, let alone saucy art in me. Oh, God. Kaiser Redux has the same schizo energy that Kojima Law has. Technically true. What did Ukraine do? Are they fighting real Ukraine now? They are fighting real Ukraine? This will give us a big boost, so we might be able- it should push us. Speed, recovery rate, attack, defense. We have the big, um, boost here. Recovery rate, attack, attack, defense on core territory. <laughs> we should be alright, we should be alright. Hey, Chip, 
Don't, please, don't, please, at least send it to Discord first, Lamau. Ayo. <laughs> Not yet, please don't draw email, mail, soft stuff, bruh. HM, I, I hope you brought enough prints to share with class. What the fuck? Okay, how long? They have about 10 days? Okay, stop the training. Stop the training. Yeah, they're not going to get training done enough in time. And then... Is the plan wall ready? It is... It's very risky. Okay, no, they're still... They're still um, preparing. Okay. Org is... Nearly max. We will go to war as soon as uh, like preparing preparation is increased and organization is increased. That's all that matters right now. There is a reason why AI art generation exists. Liam. Oh god, my guy, bruh. Okay, we can also get this breakthrough and soft attack. Very good. And now, while this is happening, I guess we will kind of push down the military tree. But that is a small nation. We cannot allow ourselves to have pipe dreams about massive waves of armies destroying the enemy, but rather ensuring that our army is highly specialized and made of quality soldiers with quality we weaponry. Muster a quality, quality, quality army. Are we here to see the uh, meeting of the Victorian and modern represented by the stream of mail and email? One being from 200 years before, and the other being modern. What the fuck? Risky. Okay, prepare, prepare, prepare faster, you idiots. Organization is max. Wait, I think there's one guy who's, like, not preparing. Yeah, there's, like, one guy here who's not preparing. Why is that? I don't get it. Okay. Well, I think it's time to start the war. An anticlimactic, but I think we're ready to push. Both being naked. IDK with the artist smoke, but I should get his dealer. Okay. I'm scared. I don't think we are ready. We, we are not ready. We are straight up just not actually ready at all. We are not ready, but we can we can try. We can try. Probe attack. Like, we're not going to push there. Uh, we could do a probe attack here. We gotta avoid the Romanian regions. Yes, yes, yes. Don't worry. We we are pushing. We are pushing westward, pretty much. Okay. 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 The fight has initiated. The fight has initiated. You stop. Omg, oh, God! I know they thought Liam was a warmongering leader, bro. We we are taking our goddamn country back. What? We're oh, we're dead. GG. We're dead. We're dead. We can't win this. There's no way to win this. This is a, like Serbia fucking. There's no way. We fucking can't do this. Unless I just march into Belgrade right now. Fuck. You. No, it's, it was Serbia. Serbia just fucking. You need an airport. I, I got. Yeah, we, we don't even have like airports. We don't even have freaking uh, naval bases. Um. Okay. Um. If maybe if maybe if we miraculously march into Belgrade, then we could like take Serbia. Like it's, it's, it doesn't look like they have a soldier here. You should invade Serbia first. We can't invade them. They're in an alliance or something. Lom, like the, you can't invade them first. This is this is ridiculous. This is GG. We can't do this. This is like insane. This is insane. There's nothing we could have done here. Call for peace and build an air force. Lord. We we can't. Like, there's no way to even build an air force up. Like, because this nation is so small. I think we will maybe have like one focus. Yeah, no, we we actually have no focuses to build up an air force. There's no possible way to build up an air force because we're just too small. See, the thing is, we don't have an air force. But what's good is they don't have an air force. None of us have an air force. So when you invade, it's taking our country back. But when I do it, I got sent to execution. Um, fucking double double standards, true. Yeah, we know we have, we have artillery. We have artillery being produced. We got we got the artillery support right there. I don't care about planes because I don't have any planes. It's not gonna work. 
I think, like, this is the problem with, with Kaiser Redux. If you get bad RNG with how the world spawns, you just don't win. Because, like, there's no way. Tanks, there's no way we could produce tanks. We don't have an industry to build tanks. And the problem is we wanted a we wanted an early war and like this is not even that early. If we did any earlier though, it would have been like four guys against twenty guys. But now I guess it's even worse now. Develop TikTok and you would effectively le lessen the entire world's knowledge by three. <laughs> Just ban TikTok in our own country and then make everybody dumber and then invade them. Okay. Um. This is not gonna happen. This is not gonna happen. I mean, we could, like, go back and do some goofy shit. Like... Like, if we do a war earlier, it's not gonna benefit us. Because we have four people. Like, we can't do this. Like, the only way would be to, like, restart the entire game. Which I'm definitely not gonna do tonight. And, like, specifically, like... I don't like it because it's, it's counted as cheating. But you can set the game rules so countries only align with certain people. So you could set the rules so that Romania is independent and doesn't align with Serbia. And that they never attack Bulgaria and stuff like that. It's a defensive border, then mass troops in one spot and focus fire. That does work. See, we do, see the thing is, the thing why we weren't immediately killed just then is because we actually do have... Um, uh, what's it called? We have the... Uh, the, the uh, what are they? The forts. We have the forts. Um, yeah, I can just... Yeah, three focuses and then we're done. But it means I'm doing it all by myself with five people, bruh. It's not even that we don't have five people. It's that we don't even... We, we don't have any guns. We don't even have any guns if we do it this way. Because, like, the problem is we don't have an industry. Yeah. Needy stream overload invades Romania so she can make a Twitch dictatorship stream Lamau. Hey, Jen, we're definitely not doing Fallout, my guy. Fallout will be a little bit because, like, I'm trying to... Lately, I've been trying to make sure um, we've been playing games back and forth. We're not just playing the one game because, I don't know, I don't want this channel to get... Um... Oh, Alia intensifies. I don't want the channel to get stale. Okay, military. Okay, so yeah, we need 1,800 guns, which we just can't get from any anyone. Okay, um, and then do a, do a board here. Fallout New Vegas is your symbol, though. No, it is, and I will never go away off this channel until we play Fallout 4, but... Can you make an alliance with another country and get them to join you in an attack? So that's what we were trying to do with Bulgaria, but the problem is, it wasn't, like, a proper alliance. It's only, um... What do you call it? It was only a non-aggression pact. They gave us a boost. They gave us, like, a bonus, like, an attacking bonus to help fight. Will you play 76? No. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Lom. Obviously, Fallout 4 will happen at some point, but we're definitely never ever playing freaking Fallout 76. Unless I get, like, a decent group of friends to play it with me, maybe? I'm not sure. Artillery. The only other thing you can do is if you play the really long game, right? It's like if you build up a lot, a lot, and don't like attack war against Romania for a very long time, then maybe. But like, I think the problem with something like that is when you're a very small nation, there's only so much that you can build up versus a bigger nation that builds up. Because you're both building up over time, right? So obviously the bigger nation who builds up over time is going to be even better than the small nation who builds up over time. IDK, why? But I remember seeing that name in uh, Arthur Shispo. What is it about? Let's say, let's just say it has a very hard chemistry test. People are simping for the Dr. Doe Lamau. Interesting. I don't know what any of that means, but fair. <laughs> and of course, no freaking. No goddamn sieves at all, unfortunately. Doe Lady, a furry game, I think. Oh, oh, is oh, is that the meme where it's like the weird like science game test online and the lady's like the weird furry lady is like taking off a jacket or something? God damn it, it was a, it was a surprise for Liam. I know which one that is. AI set the heart is the very top opponent on game, so that's all. This is just normal. 
This is a normal difficulty. This isn't hard. I can make it easy and very easy, but I don't want to be a baby like that. I think it is Lamau, that meme. I've seen that meme before. It's always in, like, meme compilations. It's like, oh, the professor gave us this weird quiz. And it's like, what is the atomic formula for for carbon or something? Bet. And then she, like, takes takes off the jacket or whatever. And then he's like, oh, something like that. I like how I can pretty much recite that meme from memory. Okay, Serbia is now fighting Bulgaria. That's fine. We don't really care. Because this is giving us an open room to maybe go fight Romania. I fucking don't believe it, but... Dude. So what have you got researched so far? Uh, guns and artillery and construction, because construction doesn't matter. That's it. Yeah, artillery, guns. That's all we need. Because we, we don't... We can't do... Like, we don't have the, inf the industry. Right? Like, we don't even have industry to get support equipment. Because we, we have what? We have three tiles to build upon. Yeah, we have one, two, three, three states. I shouldn't say tiles. Three states. Jokes on you, I'm a chemistry man and I'm not horny. Hell yeah. I just need some sieves, man. I just need some steel. I'm an A plus in chemistry and I fucking don't know the 7 to 10 question. Artillery and equipment. Artillery and equipment. Want to help them out? I'm good. Can you upgrade your guns and arty? Yeah, I've, yeah, that's what we've been doing. That's the only thing we've been focused on for the time being. Because that's like the only thing that's going to help us, right? So uh, we'll be able to upgrade our guns shortly. But yeah, artillery we've done. Bam. Big soft attack increase. And then we'll be doing guns after this, like, uh, industry stuff. The thing is, you are, like, somewhat... You are gated because, like, obviously it's, like, research years. So it, you, you have massive penalties to doing, like, gun research before it's the year that it's, like, actually properly researched. So 1938 is when you unlock boosts to support weapons 2. Uh, oh, sorry, support weapons... Yeah, support weapons 2 and improved infantry equipment 1. And if you try to research it beforehand, you get a, you know, a penalty. No, I just had a hard time. Like, who the fuck is Boar? You don't know who Boar is? So, please make a Dragonos. <laughs> this is not... This is definitely, like, a hard nation to start off as. I just wanted to have a fun fun game playing as them. <laughs> um, an easy, easier game to start off with would be... Well, this is a mod, but any of the major nations, like... If you start playing as Germany, it's pretty easy. Or if you play as Britain, it's pretty easy. Another nation that is very easy to play as is Canada. Can you make nukes with penalties? Yes. You want me to show you? You want me to show you, Lom? It would take us 2,554 days if we tried to rush the nuclear bomb, my guy. We do it. That's not gonna. Ha it's not gonna happen, Lom. We're not gonna win any war if we. Because the thing is, Lom, if you if you make a nuke, it doesn't win. You don't win. You don't win anything. You still have to like have troops to march into the land. Basically, how a nuke works is it will completely like destroy like all the the building slots, um, and it will also um, it will it will, it will kill any army that's on that on that tile that you drop it on. But you still need to then march your troops into the capital or whatever. Okay, bam. We are just going to go for an extremely early patriotic war. Uh, it would be insane if this, like, gives us the win. I'm gonna, like, shoot myself <laughs> if this somehow gives us such an early, easy win. And then while we're at war with them, we could maybe just rush down land doctrine and guns and attack and stuff. Oh, I just really- we can't do this. We- we- okay, I have to call it here. I just realized we can't do this anyway, because if we go into an early war with Romania, Greece and Serbia still get pulled in. There's no- there's no way. There's no way to do this properly. There's no way. There's actually physically not- not a way to do it. Because we can't defend against Serbia and Romania. Unless, like, maybe we change the, like- it's it's not possible. It's not possible because we're not going up against Romania. We're going up against the the Belgrade Pact. Because if you declare war on one person who is in a faction,
again. You're doing very hungry just yet? That won't end well. No, we're not doing hungry. Hungry is not like. Hungry, we can't do. Hungry, we definitely can't do because right now they're still underneath Austria. So if we were to go uh, to war with Hungary, we would literally have to fight all of these other ones in blue. Everything that is blue, we would have to fight, which is just not possible. We'll invade the weak Serbia in this universe and show we mean business. That's what America did in Vietnam, isn't it? True. Um, the only backup I have to this is basically we have to restart the game. We have to set the game rules so that we Romania will never join the Belgrade pack so we can fight them by themselves. And we can also have it so that uh, Bulgaria never gets attacked by the Belgrade pact either. And that means, um, uh, that means like Bulgaria could like, uh, join our faction as well and help us. Okay. Well, we have, we have the, um, we have the, the war goal now. We have the war goal. We can definitely attempt something silly right now. They're not really organized, but it's fine. Okay. Declare war. Call allies, of which we have none. We don't have any allies whatsoever. Okay. Oh, yeah, they can't go there yet. That's right. Serbia, there it is. Push into Belgrade. You're pushing there. Okay. Um, ooh, wait, actually, wait a second. Could we get an encirclement? There's no way. I don't know. Yeah, you know, into Bulgaria, maybe. Um, I, uh, if someone beats cancer and tells me, um, they beat cancer, I'll just say that's good. Yeah, go, go, go. I've heard that mean before. <laughs> 63, okay. Maybe, okay, maybe we, there's a way to do this in which we have four of them stacked in one location okay now we're kind of just like crossing our fingers and hoping that this will work which it will not there's no possible way there's no conceivable way that this will work this strat is ridiculous um i guess do radio for some coordination stack Okay. If we had, like, one horse, it wouldn't be too bad. Because then we could, like, rush in. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, right now, Bulgaria... Wait, what the fuck happened? <laughs> hey, yo, wait a second. Wait, what? Okay. Oh. For the king. What the fuck happened here? Okay, so apparently they're having a... Okay, so apparently because we declared war right now, the Monarchist Rebellion has risen up in the eastern part of the country. And... They are fighting Romania now. Okay. Um, we could do this. We could do this. Oh, you're trying to run in. You're trying to run in. I see you doing some silly little stuff right there, buddy. I would really l like to get this as an encirclement, but what's even better is we could technically rush to Bucharest as well. I reckon we could do it. I reckon we could do it. I reckon we could do it, man. I reckon we could do it, man. Okay, you're not running ahead, which is fine. You're not running ahead. That's okay. Okay, no, there's no way. Okay. No, that, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. That's fine. Stop, stop. There we go. Run to butcher rest. No, don't go through there. Go through here. Okay, can you not? Okay. There you go. Okay. I don't think we are going to cap Serbia at all by taking the capital, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I need to move you here. You need to keep fighting them there. As long as we hold you guys in here, it should be alright. Okay, no, that's not... That's not good at all. Okay. That's not good at all. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna reload that. Um, 
I, now that I know that the Monarchist Rebellion is there, this is definitely, like, a way easier. I'm not going to do whatever I'm trying to do with Serbia. I'm just going to put a front line there, I guess. Um, but I want most of my men on the Romanian line. Because, like, that's all that matters, really. We we can definitely save this. This, will, this can be saved, which is ridiculous. Okay. You will take the Gorilla Fighter. There you go. Okay. Uh, you will stop the training. You will have... It like this. You will not do that. You will do it like... This. Very good. You're still going to go there. Okay, let's get everybody into position right now. Do are we still do we still have our trade? We still do have our trade. Coolio. Artillery, very nice, very nice. Uh, the guns are coming. We're going to do radio. So what we're doing is we're putting all of our men into the right place that they need to be, um, and then we're going to get their preparation, their organization up to the max that it can be. I think preparation they're actually really good already. Organization 44, 45. I don't care about England, uh, Ireland being beat up by England, bro. Org, org, org. Come on, come on with the old. Org, org, org. 46, 47, 48, 49... 50, 51, 52, 53... 54, so everybody is organized. 54, 54... Uh, no, you're not organized. Okay. We good? We good there? We, you need to be a little bit more organized. You're good now. Fantastic. Everybody should be fully organized. Fantastic. Now, how are you guys in terms of preparing for your attack? Risky. That's fine. Large river crossing. Sobi has such a weirder front line. Okay. Save here. Speed goes down a little bit. Okay, so Romania now has an actual freaking person blocking this tile, which is not good, but that's fine. So we declare war on them, and the Monarchists are going to rise up. Serbia, you just push into around... Okay, no, they're not in the war yet. That's the problem. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Bam, that's what we want. You need to hold the person in the capital. You need to go here. Um, and then... You need to go here. Don't increase the line here. It's annoying. Uh, did you steal Serbia? It did not work. It did not work. I've reloaded. I think we are we are we are trying again. And uh, we're going to try and go around Serbia. Uh, can you do a probing attack here? And you too as well. You can also try and push here maybe. There we go. Ooh, that's a pretty good push. And remember, the Monarchist Rebellion will rise up, which will help us a lot. Okay. Okay. Everything's looking good so far. We, we, so we're not winning this battle, but that's fine. We just want to pin him there. We want to keep that guy in the city while we rush this guy forward. Okay, and then that guy's there, but that's fine because this guy's coming in for the flank. Okay, cool. Monarchists have not risen up yet. Again, like the main issue with Redux is like there's, there's so much RNG that it can just straight up just ruin your um your run like this. Like I don't think there's much we can do here. You can help push here though. Because it's so RNG, like what nations join what factions, um, and like, like it's like what they end up doing. Okay, 
increase this just because I want to see this get through, I guess. Um, okay, are they going to win this fight? Maybe. It's kind of going back and forth. Like, we could win this fight here, though, I reckon. No, we're not winning that fight. Ooh, 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 wait, wait, wait a second. Okay. We can't do this. I'm pretty sure we can't do this. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Okay. <laughs> A fourth man here. I guess he. Oh, oh, okay. We're getting some more men out, apparently. You're gonna need to get pushed back. Please leave. There we go. Add some arty those squads. We already got as much arty as we can. Like, the again, the reason we only have so much inventory as it is, uh, uh, so much infrastructure, like to build stuff. As it is, we are already producing guns and artillery to a de to a deficit. We aren't even producing enough guns and artillery to support the current army that we have fielded. <laughs> and this is what we have to deal with. <laughs> this is what we have to deal with. What's going on here? Um, we already have enough war support. Um, stability would be good though. Uh, we could have definitely, we would have been able to easily do this if we, um, if Romania didn't go into the war for the Belgrade Pact. That's a big issue. Um, do you enjoy a challenge, don't you? I do, I do. Um, except I'm probably going to cap out with this uh, challenge because I don't think this is, we're going to succeed with this. This is not going to work, Lamau. There's just no possible way to do Banat. I'll have to look at the game rules and see who we can, um, like, what, what rules we can set to make sure, like, it's actually possible. How's, how's the Monarchs going? The Monarchs are going good, I think. To be fair, at least our, our defense is really good. If we want to, we could just sit here forever and, like, nothing is going to happen because we have forts around everywhere. Moldovia? Is that is that the Monarchist Revolution? No. The, you guys lost. The fucking Monarchist Revolution lost. They're fucking dead. I don't go to the diplomatic path to victory law. That's not going to happen, unfortunately. Well, the, see, the thing is, like, we were already kind of at a loss because they stole our country so yeah we we could sit here for the long game and just have them shoot themselves to death on our borders and then that will technically work but our monarchist revolution didn't even last too long wait Bulgaria is pushing in Bulgaria is pushing in. There's no way. No way Bulgaria pushes in. If Bulgaria... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this, is this our counter-attack? Is this our counter-offensive? There's no way. They're, like, weak. They're, they're, like, you can see with the yellow exclamation mark, they have low organization. We're going to be pushing here. We're pushing this tile. We've won that tile. Illyria declares war in Austria. We're pushing this tile. We're going to push this tile. Okay, no, they're reinforced there is the problem. Okay. I'm 
Serbia, we definitely can't beat. So, okay, because I think we've joined the war, we've, like, turned the side for Bulgaria. And Bulgaria, we're not really allies with. But if Bulgaria fucks Romania up, that makes it easier for us to fuck Romania up. Push, push, guys. Push, push, push. I believe in y'all. I believe in y'all to push this tile. Come on. It's one militia. It's one little baby unit. I believe in y'all. We can also do forced attack. You have, like, little abilities here that you can do. But, like, they, they use uh, command power. Okay, now, now Hungary is fighting uh, uh, Austria. Fair. And Slovenia is fighting Austria. Oh! <gasps> We did it. We fucking did it. Okay, we did it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let's let's calm down. Let's calm down. Where do we want to push from here? We want to try and get to Bucharest. We want to try and get to Bucharest. Also, if we can cut off this little circle, this will be an encirclement. Techni no, it wouldn't be because they're connected to Serbia. But at least we'd be cutting their front lines in half. And we can push them into the Bulgarian uh, front line to like just eviscerate them. Fortify that new tile. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. We, we, we definitely need to do that, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we, we, we're not going to push anything yet. We're going to hold here for a second. There you go. Grab you guys into here. And you two are going to push into him, here as well. I like to look at that. I like to look at that. Okay, we just... Yeah, it's it's when when you're moving troops, it's good to like pin uh, someone on the front line so you can like move there without them attacking you and stopping you on the way. So we're, that's why we're using these two troops. Oh god, they have okay, they have a way bigger front line here. But we're we're sending in reinforcements, so we're fine. So while these two people are pinning this guy, we have the other guy here trying to reinforce this tile. But we also have a really good defense here, so it's not that bad. Um, are we gonna get anywhere if we try doing anything here? Okay, maybe that's a tile take right there. Okay, we have two people. There we go. That tile's reinforced. Um, I say don't pin them anymore. Um, ooh, they're giving up. They're giving up. Like, they're ba they're, a lot of their troops are backing away on that. Because, like, they can't push us. See, now these guys are kind of weak over here. So while they're attacking us, we can't really attack them. Um, okay, now that you guys are attacking here. Actually, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, push. I could do a risky strat. I could do a risky strat. Yeah, we need more stability, please. Otherwise, the uh, the people are going to be really annoyed with me because we're at war. When people are at war, they always cry. They always suck. Um, they go, wah, you, you're getting us killed. It's like, okay, come on. Come on, my guy. I think I want to push this tile because the militias, the one with the M's, they, they're like way weaker. Um, no barracks on the new tile. You can't build. Oh, I, no, no. A fort? A fort is so bad. A fort is so bad. So a fort is 500. How long would that take to build? We don't, we don't even have any. We, we actually don't even have anything to build it. So, so there's civilian factories and military factories. And we don't even have a civilian factory to be able to build a fort because we're using all our civilian factories to trade for steel so we can build more guns. We have nothing. Our country's economy is non-existent. Which is what you get for playing as a small nation, pretty much. They're actually holding pretty well. We have a really high defense as it is, right? Because we have this little advantage, right? Yeah, we're we already we're pretty good so far. The problem is they're not ceasing up on their attacks, so I have no like time to to push when I want to push. There we go. That's a push. No way, no way we push this already. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. No way. Okay, you want to use me to stay back? Okay, we got we got the second tile push. We got the second tile push. Ooh, you need to stop that right now. Or you're gonna get your butt kicked. We 
reinforce, 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 reinforce. Come on, get to the tower, get to the tower, get to the tower. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly, you can make it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, okay, we didn't make it there. That's fine. It's because they attacked us. Brr. We might be able to make some tile advancements down here, though, which is crazy. Um, how are we doing? Bulgaria's kind of not doing good or bad. Nothing's really changed. No, 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 you idiots. You're doing good. You need to stop what you're doing. Defend. You're not very good at pushing. So by the way, there's lots of different terrains. So there's hills, mountains, um, uh, plains. So the reason why we're really good at defending this tile is because it's a mountain tile. Is that Air Force attacking you? They're not really doing anything. Um, so if I click the bubbles, you can, you can check stuff. They have the air superiority. Because they have, they have some planes and we have no planes. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really affect us that much. Because they only have like 10 planes. All these little baby countries, they don't have planes. German Empire, they have planes. Union of Britain, they have planes. France, they have planes. Uh, Russia, they have a lot of planes. But little baby countries like Australia and African nations. And these little Balkan nations don't have anything. Okay. This looks good. This looks good. Okay. If you really want to win this easily, you should just develop TikTok Lamau in the 1930s. Silent funny Austrian man, uh, dancing to fucking, co uh, Cupid, yeah. <laughs> we might get this tile, which would be awesome. We're not doing that bad. Our defense is just that good, so, like, we, we are a very defensive nation. What you do is with a de defensive nation, this is how, how you win as France. You basically just sit on your your, your tiles, on your, your forts especially, and you let the enemy attack you until they're weak enough where you can counterattack them, right? You guys, no, 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 no. We're getting, the, we're getting this. We're actually getting the push here. Insane. Are we losing this tile, bruh? Bruh. We're gonna lose. Oh, <gasps> Bulgaria! Holy fuck. Uh, everybody? No, no, no. Everybody, everybody actually push here. No, get out of there. I don't care if we're losing the tile. Okay, so what happens here is if, if Bulgaria and I meet up, we basically are pincering the enemy and, like, they will, like, take a lot of damage. Um... Right now, we actually need more sears because I want to fucking trade for supplies. Bulgaria in the clutch. Bulgaria is not even our um, our ally, and they're actually helping us. Bulgaria has like pushed up here. See, and if there's a troop in this little slot, by the way, they get they get encircled and they, they just get insta kills, as well, which is crazy. Okay, okay, so we're we're pushing out of our advancement, but that's fine, because um, we're we're getting an advancement here, and we also can definitely get an advancement here. Because then we can, then we, we then we uh, divide and conquer, right? We take out Serbia and then we push into Romania. They, they, we fucking got this tile, easy. Push, push, guys. Um, do, do it. Force attack. Push, push. I'm asleep. Uh, seeing this. <laughs> All good. Push, 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 everybody. Push. Okay, we're pushing here. No, no, no. Get out of here, baby. Get out of here, baby.
They've got that. You need to stay by. You two can go forward, though. Actually, no. You need to stay there. What you can do is you can do this. You can attack him. Done. Cool. You attack him. The song them out? Oh, true, yeah. Okay, big with okay, big push, big push, Bulgaria. Bulgaria, holy crap, Bulgaria is 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 doing good. Even Romania's scared, they're trying to attack into us, but our forts protect us, the idiots. They only have one troop here on like low on low org. Bulgaria, come on man, push, 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 push. Push, push Bulgaria. Actually, don't even do anything risky. Just everybody, everybody else stop. Everybody else stop. Everybody else focus on the on the good shit. Why can't you guys stop? We can't we can't tell them to stop for some reason. There we go. There we go. Everybody else be quiet. Everybody be quiet. Um actually you guys try and push in closer here. That could work. Yeah, if we push in closer that way, yep. Oh no, Bulgaria push back out. Urgh. Can you give me enough voice line of email? No. No, I will not. I will not give more email voice line. Come on, nah. Email doesn't exist. Email's dead. I killed him. I put a bullet in his skull and I buried him in the ground. He's gone. Never to be returned. Help a brother out. Come on, Nah. -uh. <laughs> He's dead. He dead, dead, dead. His cameo last night prove he alive. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. We're getting good experience for um uh our troops, by the way. The more they fight, the more experience they get, the more they can do, obviously. Okay, you're gonna get pushed out, I reckon. Better do a save point lol. Oh, Bulgaria, come on! Uh, maybe I should. There we go. I just want to make an AI cover email seeking all of me. No. No more email stuff. Come on. Come on, team. Come on. No, no, no. You get back in here, my guy. You get back in here. Bulgaria, Bulgaria, Bulgaria. Did you take Romania yet? No. I'm an email Liam. Do I have somebody that used to know? Guys, go please follow the email. Email man's not real. No, James. We've not even taken Serbia. This shit's insane, bro. Um, we might be able to take this tile with Serbia, and then we might actually have a chance, though. You get the- you pull out. You pull out. I don't even want to risk being in that tile anymore, man. Push, push, push. We're pushing so much here. We're pushing so much. Push. No! Who got in there? Some other guy got in there, bruh. I think I'll be calling it here in a second, because I don't think we're going to make any advancements here. Email man, the real version of mail. There is no real version of mail. Every version of mailman is the real version. It's like um like we're a bunch of clones and we don't know who the real who the original version was, right? Okay, cool. I'm gonna go in there, but um uh, Do you guys wanna watch some New Vegas? Do you guys want me to stream some New Vegas after this? Cave paintings, yes. Email is what happened after a Magdalene scene. This is villain universe. Yes, yes. Okay, we're gonna do some. Um, we're gonna finish up. Um, what's what's the mod? The um the one with uh Eve. We're gonna finish up the Eve mod. So that's what we're gonna do instead. Let me see if I can raid someone uh in the Hoi Four category. Um uh, is there a VTuber that isn't me? Misa doubts. Uh, there is a VTuber? Are they playing- are they playing the My Little Pony for- Oh my god, they're playing the My Little Pony mod. <laughs> Where'd he go? I think they're playing the My Little Pony- oh. I think they're playing the fucking My Little Pony mod. Oh my god. There's no way. Magdalene La- No more Magdalene. Oh my god, I think I might get this game. Hoi 4 is really good, I recommend it. Playing Germany- Always play as Germany to learn the game, play as Germany. Germany's super easy to play. Wait, wait. Uh, Fuck, you reminded me of that like effing lizard. Is that a middle one? Um, so what, okay, so actually what you do- I don't know what they're doing, but I want to raid someone and they're- I think that they- the Undead Ponies in War, I think they're playing the fucking- the- the My Little Pony furry mod. So, uh, 
I'll be back on in like 30 minutes, guys. But um, in the meantime, uh, if you want to, you can go raid them. Who are also playing Hoi 4. Go spread the love of the mailman. Give them a follow uh, and a watch, etc, etc. And I'll be back. That's it. Full out e Equestria. It's, it's called Equestria. Something like that. Yeah. Um, get Hoi 4 on sale. It is. There's a lot of DLCs. Okay, okay. I'll be back, guys. But goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.